At the end of last episode, I said we need to do something about this. And I've been saying it for a while. And it's about time we did the thing. We need someone on the server who is in charge of this diamond pile. And I don't think it should be me. I'm going to campaign for someone to become the mayor of the shopping district. What can they do? Well, they can do things with the diamonds, I guess. They can pay for roads to be built, they can help laying out, they can change the rules on the pricing and all sorts of things. But it can't just be anyone. It's it's not it's not just gonna be me. I'm I'm the mayor. No, we need to have a proper election. So who do who on this server is the right man for the job? Well, look at that. Mumbo jumbo. Isn't that isn't that the face of a man that you would vote for? I have got a fantastic idea. Now, we are going to campaign for Mumbo Jumbo to become the mayor of the shopping district. I mean, the, the best part of this is Mumbo hasn't, hasn't got a clue. He'll find out only when it's too late. In fact, it would be absolutely hilarious if he didn't find out until the very last second. So, the first thing we're going to do to kick off our campaign for Mumbo Jumbo is a promotional poster. Now, fortunately, there is a space that has already been allocated for custom maps. People have been making them for a while now. And we are going to take some, not even half, of the resources that we got from here to make this map. So we're gonna take shulker box after shulker box full of stone, and we're gonna get cracking on this. I think I've got everything I need. Now we just need to head over to that area. This might be the portal? Yes, this looks like it. So, as you can see, this is not a small task. In fact, the number of blocks required to make something like this will probably astound you. So, we're gonna take this plot right here. Fortunately, Cub has already marked out the exact size for it, so that is really, really good. Now, you can see how many shulker boxes that I've brought with me, but the actual physical numbers that have to be placed may really surprise you. I have to place 16,000 blocks. 16,000. That's how big this space is. And then on top of that, I then need to decorate it to get exactly what I need. So, I think it's uh, not exaggerating to say, this is going to be awful for me. <laughs> this is not going to be fun, but we are going to time lapse it and hopefully this will come out exactly how I hope it will. The campaign begins. Vote for Mumbo. My goodness, look at this. That is a lot bigger than it looks. There's a lot of placing. So here's the thing, I think I've saved some time doing this, and I'll tell you why. Cub has made his newspaper out of snow blocks here, so he had to go and grind all of these bits of snow. I didn't have to do that, because I already had all this stone. So I've used the stone, but now I need to cover it in snow. And I think the fastest way to do this is with these guys. Boom. And I can even remove the pumpkin. You, sir, are going to help me cover this whole thing in snow. Now, to stop them going onto Cub's map, I'm going to make a quick barrier that goes all the way across. Because I see you. You are about to go. I saw it. So, they're going to just slide around and create more snow. Hopefully they don't jump in the ocean. But obviously, one snowman isn't gonna cut it. So, I'm gonna make a bunch of these guys and then set them all loose. But I think this will be a lot more fun to watch as another short time lapse. So, let's go.
It is all complete. And it's time for the big reveal. Da -da -da -da. Mumbo for Mare. That looks absolutely fantastic. But I've got to admit, it took far longer and potentially took part of my soul with it to make it. I think this was eight hours of work for this. Eight hours for one bit of paper. The colors look a little bit different from the map to what's in sort of reality. This looks quite a lot brighter, but I think overall it looks pretty good. I have added a nice border and a mustache underneath and you'll notice that the mustache is actually gone from my face. I basically head butted, face planted this, this poster like so. And I've put Mumbo's, well, it wasn't even his moustache, the back of Mumbo's hair onto the poster. And I'm going to use this to promote Mumbo for mayor of the shopping district. I find myself just keep, I keep looking at this and I just like, I'm just really happy because actually building text like this on the floor is surprisingly difficult. It doesn't matter how good you are at building, but writing text in pixels, that's tough. So... This is now done, and we can actually start the promotion. So let's head over to the shopping district. But I think I may have got a little bit ahead of myself. Because even if we did start a campaign, there's just, there's just a pile of diamonds. Like, I really feel that I've probably gone and done step two before step one. So maybe we should backtrack a little bit here and actually make a building. A building that's like an official thing. It doesn't belong to anyone. I don't mind making it myself, but it doesn't belong to anyone but the shopping district itself. Meaning the land that it will be on doesn't have to be paid for, but it would be like the official place of the mayor. So I'm thinking what we need is a really cool townhouse or something like that. Like the, the not the mayor's house, but you know, like his office or something. It's like, yeah, a townhouse. And I have a vague idea on what to build. And there's actually quite a nice spot here now that I think about it. There's one there as well. But I'd rather not have to make this entirely by myself because I have a feeling it's going to be quite a big build, the idea I have in mind. So I'm thinking I enlist the help of two builders on the server and the first two names that sort of jump out at me are of course Good Times with Scar, my neighbor, and actually potentially B-dubs. He makes some really good stuff. So he's he's kind of known for his building stuff as well. So I might drop them a quick sign at their bases just asking if they're down to give me a hand with this thing. Maybe we'll keep this secret for now until the town hall is built because the town hall can then explain a little bit more about why this is needed. So anyway, let's go over to B-dubs's and Scar's house. Let's start with B-dubs. I have no idea where B-dubs's portal is. Aha! This looks mighty suspect. Oh my goodness, B-dubs! Look at this lovely little village that he's making. Yeah, this is definitely the right choice. B-dubs has a really, really nice style. Look at those houses. He's even made diorite a feasible block. Yeah, I really like this. I like this a lot. But where do I put the signs to ask him for help? This little visit to B-dubs' place has made me realize how out of touch I am with anything that's not in the jungle. <laughs> and unfortunately for B-dubs, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Someone took your door and it wasn't, it wasn't me. I didn't really know how to phrase this, so I've written this out. Hi, I'm planning on making a town hall for the shopping district to promote the need for a new mayor. Hashtag organize the shopping district. I need some builder help. Would you be interested? G. P.S. Someone stole your doors. Not sure who. <laughs> so hopefully B-dubs will uh, get in touch with me and say that he is interested. And in the meantime, I'm gonna steal the rest of his doors. One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, I think we're done here and I think we've definitely made the right decision. Oh my goodness, look at these farms. Oh, this, they're purely aesthetic, but just look at that. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go before I get insanely jealous of these builds. And now we pay a little visit to our friend, Good Times with Scar. 
And this is what happens when you spend two days making a custom map somewhere else on Hermitcraft. You come back and there are giant trees everywhere. This is gonna- <laughs> this makes the jungle trees look small. This entire jungle. With this and Iskal's trees, this is gonna put everything right out of scale. <laughs> they look amazing. Anyway, where should we put these signs? Probably in Larry. As he goes in here. Alright, let's make the same sort of situation. Okay, so I've more or less written the same message asking for help and hashtag organize the shopping district and PS you need a new door. <laughs> you left me signs in my uh, snail. Yes, I did, I did, because um, I had this idea to have a uh, proper leader of the shopping district. Should we, should we actually head over to the shopping district so I can pitch you the idea? Yes. Hi, Scar. Hi. I didn't make it to the top. I fell. <laughs> when, when I said meet in the shopping district, this isn't quite what I meant. So what are we here for? You were talking about some town hall business, something yeah, about my yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling like the shopping district, as beautiful and chaotic as it is, is a little bit of a mess. Like we got we got some cobblestone walkways and then sometimes we have no walkways and it's just, it's disorder. It's chaos. And There's a bee on a leash? There is a bee on a leash. Like, mm, there's the chaos. So I was looking at this diamond pile and I was thinking like no one's Ooh. in charge of this and it would make so <laughs> much sense if there was a proper mayor and obviously we need to have some sort of like election we all elect the leader but there, there needs to be more than just a diamond pile so I'm thinking a big town hall and we kind of put the diamonds in there and then we elect a leader what do you think Oh that sounds really good now quick question about the mayor would the mayor be upset because I don't pay for my land on time for my shops because I still haven't paid for my land. I guess it depends greenhouse. Depends who the mayor is. You know, if Tango hmm. was the mayor, he might say, no, I'm very upset. But if Mumbo was the mayor, he'd probably be lenient. He'd probably be okay with it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He probably wouldn't even notice, probably, really. Yeah, he probably wouldn't even notice. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, well, I would rather not have to build this huge building by myself. So I've asked uh, you, and actually I, I sent the same message to B-dubs. Oh, B-man. Yeah. I was wondering maybe we could do like a, a collab on it and get all three of us to make it together. Kind of share the burden. So we got G-man, we got B-man, and S-man. That doesn't S sound S very good. S-man? No. I, I, need, I need a new name. Yeah, Viewers, help me out. <laughs> but this does sound really interesting. Um, yeah. Any idea where you want to put it? This place is absolute chaos. Yeah. Like, it's kind of, it's amazing builds, but in a horrible organized fashion. I, I, well, it, it really drives me crazy. If B-dubs is in, we can work that out with him, shall we? Yeah, that, that'll be good. Oh, I'm excited about this. This will be fun. I'll, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll right. be in touch when I hear back from B-dubs. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I've heard from B-dubs and Scar, and we are about to meet up to build the town hall, which is very exciting. So we're going to zip over to the shopping district right now to go meet up with them. <laughs> Boom. Where am I? <laughs> there we are. Wow. Hello. Hello. That was quite an entrance there. All right, so guys, we are well, we are here to hopefully build up the town hall. You guys got my my letter, my signs? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I got that, but I'm also missing some things too. Okay, so the town hall, what we're going to do is I've got a bunch of resources with me, loads of bricks, I got loads of grass blocks. Hopefully what we need and what we need is a building big enough to put all of this in. All of this diamond days in. Oh. No, careful. All right, then. Yeah, we we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> Anyone want to break me out? You don't want to break me out? <laughs> you're in the, it's hollow? It's a diamond heist over here. <laughs> I don't think we need to be scared of it because we're going to be moving this anyway. we got to take all of this down and move it over. Oh, my God. Have goodness. you ever tasted okay. diamonds? Like just went up there and just gave it a little lick. No. 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 Dude, it's tasty. Just give it a just give it a try. No. This is one of those wizard things. This is, this they, is they a this wizard stuff. thing. Yeah. This is yeah. a wizard thing. Hey, hey, you know, you know, don't don't believe me, but I'm just gonna enjoy the taste of diamonds over here. It's fine. Okay. So beat up, should enjoy we do that. this um and leave him to the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you can lick that and then we'll build it. Did, did you want any of these shulker boxes full of supplies or uh, you know? Yeah, okay, oh. yeah, we need uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we choose a spot? I was thinking behind the redstone shop because it's like the only place that's 
got enough space. Yeah, it's getting a little yeah. crowded here. A bit disorganized, to be quite frank. Yeah. And um, well, that's, that's this might of, be our best spot. That's kind of why we need someone for mayor. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I've, I've got something to show you, fellas. Boom. <laughs> Mumbo. Wow. For mayor. What better man to organize the shopping district? That's a really, that's really nice. This is the mustache. It's subtle. This is the mustache yeah. that serves you, you know? This Wait a second. Is that his back head hair? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it's not actually the mustache. I no, see. it's not the mustache. It's, it's the it's the bargain stash. This is the one from the back of his head. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna be building the town hall, and then uh, hopefully we can get everyone to support Mumbo. Really? Yes. The sun is setting. We have to. <laughs> this is my service to the community. <laughs> I, I, you brought. Hey, don't do that. This is important. <laughs> oh, there. There's going to be things in the sky, phantoms, and you'll see. Don't. Don't. Please. You okay, here we go. Him. This is no, no. Okay. You are breaking me. sleep. Don't. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> got... No! No! <laughs> you... Hey, you owe me some doors. What? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's start this build yeah. then, dude. Let's start this, let's start this build. You're okay. Start this build All right. Start? Yeah. Let's start the build in the morning. <laughs> Okay, I'm out of I'm out of punch range. I'm out of punch range. All right, go Perfect. go for it. We'll stand, go for we'll it. Stand Thank you. We'll stand over here. All right. Have a great night's sleep, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, Scott. All the way over here. All the way over here. Okay, okay, okay. We're over here. We're over here. here. We're good. I'm all hollow out. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, hi. Can't be real. That seems really precarious. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> but look at it. Look what we made together. Mm. I like it. It's beautiful. I really like it. I'm oh. not gonna lie. I think I think we we oh. nailed this. Uh, I think we've uh, we've left. Let's go and have a look inside. We've kind of left the interior um, up for imagination, shall we say? Yeah. Yeah. Just we bare. Have, we got this nice. We got this nice elevation. It like kind of looks over the shot. Oh wow! Look at that. Look at that oh, view. You get a. You that's get a, a beauty. You get a good view of the uh, shopping district, but the the highlight here is the diamond throne, mm. the, the seat of power on the server. I mean, this is forget mayor. This is what we're really after on the server, right? I mean, yes. Not the title. We're after the, we're after the the seat, the diamond throne. Ah, Scar. Oh, Ooh. this is nice. I like you. This. Look nice up there. He's he's, he's oh, even wearing well, thank like you. he's all decked out with his armor, and he blends in. Oh I've, yeah, I, I I feel at home up here. I like it. I like it a lot. You look at home up there. Don't get any <sighs> don't get any ideas. Remember, why, there we go. That's right. Oh, of course, <laughs> Mumbo of course. for me. <laughs> oh, right, for sure. Right. There's only Definitely. one one piece of facial hair that's going to end up on that throne. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah this, this is good. I like this. I like it. We're all a little delirious. Am I right? Yeah, it's 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 been a, it's been a long night. It's been a it's been a crazy long night. But I I really like how the the light comes down and hits just hits the diamonds. Everything else is dark. Thank goodness that this is on a mushroom island, because otherwise there'd be there'd be uh, mobs everywhere. Yeah, yeah, we'd be infesting the the shopping district. It'd be bad. I think we should probably leave some. I'll I'll put some signs here later on explaining, you know, that you got to vote for Mumbo later on the line. You know, have a have a, a popularity chart or something so people can can cast their vote. It's gotta get down. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Get down. Get down. I feel, I feel attracted. He to looks it. really nice no, up there. Off though. limits. Off limits. And, uh, <laughs> off limits. Okay, all right. I'll stay off. I'll stay off. I don't know. I I feel like no, I. This no. is. It's kind of cozy. No, it is. Get. Give it get, a taste. Give it a get, lick. Give it a little look. No, I'm not licking it. You sicko. Should we tell him, Grian? We were building this, and for two hours straight, he was over there licking the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. It's been 24 hours since we built this, and I've got to say, upon coming back, I think this is a superb build. I was so tired by the time we actually finished that I, I ba barely even remember what we did. And some additions have been made since I was gone, so I guess B-Dubs and Scar added a few things, like a, like a really nice garden here, a couple more trees at the front, and overall, this is going to serve its purpose it kind of it kind of dominates the shopping district which is really really cool and it was awesome to do a build project like this with three people all at the same time i don't think i've ever done that quite on this scale five hours it took and of course the diamond throne i always wanted to do this okay look i need to i need to get right just the right angle for this and then get my camera account so you th you think you have diamonds pathetic <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this is like if someone if someone was here and is like, "Meh, can I have some diamonds?" No, no, you can't have diamonds. See, this is why I shouldn't occupy the diamond throne. I am a. Uh, I'm probably not meant to be in charge of this insane amount of diamonds. However, someone who would uh, be ideal is Mumbo Jumbolio. So I'm going to take this map, we're going to make a bunch of copies, and we are going to start campaigning by putting a bunch of them around the shopping district. But first, people that uh, come across the diamond throne might be a little bit confused. So I'm going to quickly add a few signs. I know that B-Dubs is going to come back here and do some interior work to this, so I'm just going to do a bunch of temporary signs in case anyone is interested. I've written down some information. The Diamond Throne has been placed in the shopping district. Someone must take the seat and make decisions about the place. Who will that be? We decide. A date will be announced later so that we can cast our vote for who we want to be mayor. Anyone can run, but only one can occupy the throne. Vote. <laughs> Mumbo for mayor. <laughs> Just casually put that in. It kind of stands out a little bit. But you know, we need to get we need to get as many votes for Mumbo as possible. And I was actually thinking, um, we could uh, we could put some we could put some campaign promises next to next to the vote. Now this is one of the uh, the most visited portals. I haven't actually managed to link that one up properly, but hopefully someone someone who knows portals better than me can help me out with that. So Mumbo for mayor. The suit that serves you. Lots of propaganda going on. So I've actually got quite a lot of these posters to put around. So probably one in the more, more popular spots. I could put one here. Oh yeah, I need to totally need to send that. I'll do that after this. He promises free facial hair for all supporters. Boom. Who doesn't want a free mustache? Who doesn't want a free mustache? Mumbo for mayor. These little extra added things are just great. He is a face you could trust. He's online right now. Look at look at that face. And another good point is we could use the Hermit Herald over there to promote the campaign. Don't really know how it works. Maybe I'll get in touch with with Cleo because look, you can advertise here pretty cheap and you could even get a happy son. So that might be a good idea. And also while we're here, vote for Mumbo. <laughs> Vote for Mumbo, vote for Mumbo, and vote for Mumbo. And another sign, the man definitely 
with a plan. He has no plan of the sorts. <laughs> I wonder what Mumbo's gonna think when he sees this. Let's just put a couple of posters on people's portals because they're more likely to see them there. Oh, maybe even one by the button. We'll save some, we'll save the rest for later, shall we? Kind of, I've kind of put a lot of posters around. Oh wait, this is, this is Mumbo's portal. <laughs> he's gonna like this. Uh, he's gonna find out, so I might as well go all in. He's definitely running for mayor. Look at that hair. <laughs> now that we've made some decent progress in that room, I actually want to head over to the shopping district because there's something uh, I should have actually done a while ago. And, and that is open up the town hall. The mayor race has actually begun, but B-dubs told me that he wanted to do some interior work, so I thought I'd come over here and check it out. The town hall is officially open. The diamond throne is there for the taking. Wow, B-dubs has done a really nice job. Oh, wow. Okay, that mushroom block as a ceiling block is fantastic. I like the little details. Good job, B-dubs. This is looking really good. Really, really good. Now, um, we definitely need something a bit nicer for this. Uh, but once we have the names of who's going to be running, then, then we can uh, fix this all up. I need to, let's have a closer look upstairs, because this is looking pretty cool. Oh, and when, when the mayor's elected, they can look over the shopping district. Everything that the light touches is yours. <laughs> so this is all looking pretty good. But I want to take this one step further. Just putting posters everywhere isn't going to win the race for Mumbo. We need a, a proper headquarters. I'm pretty sure Mumbo now knows that he's running for mayor, but I still haven't spoken to him about it. It's really weird. So Mumbo knows that I'm like campaigning for him, but he hasn't actually said anything, which is actually really hilarious. So what I'm thinking is we make a headquarters, a campaigning headquarters of some kind, not in the shopping district itself, because this is for shops, but maybe we can make our own little island somewhere out to sea. Oh my goodness. All right, well, maybe not too close to anyone's base, but there we go. That's kind of raised off the ground a bit. So I could make a little custom island here. And on the top, Mumbo HQ. M for MFM, Mumbo for Mayor, headquarters. Fortunately for me, not a single soul has been buying dirt. So I can just uh, commandeer my own dirt from the shop. <laughs> maybe it's uh, too expensive. One diamond for three stacks. Maybe it could be one diamond for four stacks. And uh, yeah, I'll, use, I'll just use this. I'll just use this to make it. I have no idea what to build here. So what we'll start with is uh, just making this island. And then we'll think about the build after that. We'll probably just start with a dirt house. That, I think that's that is very symbolic. We'll start with a dirt house and then we'll do it. Right, let's let's make this thing really quick. Uh, now that I've actually got the island all the way to the surface, it was a lot. It was a lot taller than I thought it would be, and we've actually got the the smallest island I've uh, ever seen to build something proper on. So this is uh, not gonna be easy. We're gonna start small. We're gonna, we're just straight up gonna start really small. I can't decide whether this amazing town hall draws the eye. Or does the giant weird plant monster with eyes do that? It's a pretty close competition. Anyway, let's make this humble shack. Okay. <laughs> this is the saddest island. This is the saddest Minecraft island I've ever seen. It is, it is pitiful. But this is where we're gonna start until we can figure out exactly what kind of headquarters we want to make. So for now, it will be as simple as Mumbo for Mayor. <laughs> this is terrible. This is really terrible. And I, I'm not even ashamed to admit it. It is, it is really terrible. 
But you know, you've got to start somewhere, and until I get a good idea for a nice tall building, and of course get the resources for it, this is where we start. Mumbo for Mare, here we go. <laughs> you know, from a distance, this looks so funny. I mean, it is just the most pathetic wooden shack you've ever seen. Oh my goodness. I just flew into the shopping district and b asked me if I wanted to taste something delicious. Oh, he's got diamonds. Beautiful, tasty diamonds. Seriously, if you haven't tasted a diamond yourself, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I want a tour of the town hall now that I've had a tasty treat. Oh, I probably should give that back to him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to tour this place. I haven't got to see it yet in the interior and it looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, let me see if he wants a call. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna do this again, are we? Time and boop. Oh, okay. Give it a try. Give it a try. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Have a sleepy sleep. <laughs> oh. Oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. no. Got him. Yes. No. Just. <laughs> oh, that was. That's good. You won. Hello, B Dubs. Hello, Scar. I saw you got a night, good night's sleep there. Oh, wonderful night's sleep. Oh, it was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. I was about one second too late on that one. You were. That was so close. But I did get to taste a diamond, and I appreciated that. I want to tour the town hall. You did some amazing things in there that I have not got to see because there's been a giant um, wall in the way, and I want to see them. Oh, right. Yes, okay, when you've done some amazing things on the outside, I mean, you do your terraforming on the outside, it is fantastic. Well, I was a little worried that the uh, outside looked a little abandoned, like it was a zombie apocalypse yeah. or something went down. So, you know, I just want to add a little lawn, a couple flowers. Freshen, yeah. yeah. Landscape around here is kind of a bit overgrown because it's so lush when you put down something green, but it also yes. looks a little banded, so I think it looks a little better than it did. Yes, I love it. I love it. Maybe another tree or two would be nice. Oh, you uh, think we should do that now? Well, uh, um, uh, not, not right now. Not okay, right we'll now. do that. We'll do that, that afterwards. Take a couple hours. B dubs this place. I'm mm. just taking. I'm taking it all in. I think the first thing that strikes me is depth. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes, come. The, what what okay, did you do okay. here? This is amazing. Is this diorite and then this concrete? This is a block. Yes, this is a, a, a not very well-known block called diorite. Up until up until you came on the server, B Dubs, we had to all burn our diorite, and now you're bringing I life know. to it, and I appreciate that. Yes, that's right. He won't right. tell us. Go. Exactly. No, 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 no. <laughs> tell him nothing of this. No, nothing of this. No, no, no. Okay. Next thing I've noticed right off the bat, the ceiling. What is that? I saw, I was looking around and I just saw the stems of the mushrooms and I thought, you know what? That could be like a nice plaster. And I assume you ceiling. didn't buy those for me because I don't have them in stock. Think of the diamonds I could have made. No, no, I didn't buy them from you. I did take a few from your, your chess monster though. <laughs> I didn't even know I had any. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, sorry, you sorry. Did. I have you a bad mouse. Like... I have a mouse that breaks. <laughs> sorry, it's oh, broken. I need a new a one. Mouse. It, it okay. randomly clicks. Cub fan. I punched Cub fan so many times. I'm so sorry. This place is beautiful, B devs. I absolutely love it. Just like looking through there, like I was just absolutely blown away by like the depth you've created here. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you. When I was building this, you know, I, I was kind of thinking a little bit. Um, I was thinking of you, actually. Uh, and, and this is something that I, I, I haven't really told anybody about, but I, yes. uh, I, I, you know, you and I, we both like, we, we like to build and we like to, you know, mm -hmm. beautify things. And I've had some frustrations, you know, walking around, getting around the server and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the terrain is a little straight. The fact that this whole, the inhabitants, I, excuse me, sir, this is <laughs> private conversation. Get out of here. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Over here. Um, the fact that we're still there, all the the mushroom blocks haven't been replaced with grass. Does that drive you nuts? I have to look up into the sky. I walk like this through the shopping district. It's Good. just <laughs> so hideous. Oh, you ran into a wall. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, I bring a first it's aid hideous. kit wherever I go for obvious reasons. Smart. Yeah, that's a good idea. But this is this is what I'm th I'm thinking because I I think that if you were mayor. I know there's a lot of talk of Mumbo for Mary, and I think he'd, he'd do a fine job, but I, I'm bringing this up. You've never really, you know, mentioned anything of it. You're a sweet, kind guy. That's another thing. But but seeing you up here, 
in that throne. Yes. I do like sitting yes. on the throne is kind of the thing. I'm not really one to yeah. tell people what to do, but I really love sitting right here. And you know, if I was mayor, just just hypothetical, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. how about a campaign slogan of a, a tree and a cat for everyone? This is just spitballing. I know it's not good. It's a work in progress. We can workshop it. Yeah, like a tree for everyone. I think that's really, really good. And only that. Well, I think you forgot the cap, but um, I don't know. Do you think I would make a good mayor? I do. I do. The cat thing is a little concerning. They're very frustrating in game. I do. I do. I do dislike this mycelium. I really do. Yeah. I mean, couldn't that be a first order? If you, if, 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 if right off the bat, you just, you, you get in, you say, okay, no mycelium, all grass. Beautiful grass, not just normal grass, beautiful grass. Beautiful, lush grass. Yes. Hmm. I think that this is, this is, I mean, just seeing you, just, when we're walking through here, it's seeing you walking through here, I get this feeling of he's home. I do feel at home up here. Okay, I'll run yes. from here. Have a good You're rest welcome. of the day. I'm glad. Okay, thank you. This is going to be great. Well, I guess we're running for mayor. Can't let B-dubs down, can we? No, we can't. So, yeah, I don't know. Do you think I would make a good mayor? Because I don't really like telling people what to do. So, that's probably be a problem when you're the mayor, when you need to tell people what to do. <laughs> so, maybe if our campaign platform was more bringing organization to the shopping district, reallocating the diamonds for beautification of the area, and, of course, bringing a cat to every hermit's heart for joy and happiness. But Scar, I met with him earlier and you'll have to check it out over on his last video. But first, gotta shriek. One of the biggest problems I've had with this area is how to get around. The roads are a mess. It's all gross and this purpley brownish mycelium. But Scar comes in and he starts putting grass down. And not only is it great that he's putting grass down, the grass out here is a gorgeous green. Look at how bright green it is. This is Scar. This is what he does. He beauty is his specialty, in my opinion. So in in I just encouraged him to run for mayor. And after a little bit of him and hawing, he agreed. I just hope he has what it takes to actually win. Because look at all this. Here's Joe Hill's sign with a little bit of land in the corner. And then, you know, Mumbo and False. Everybody's advertising like crazy. I hope Scar has some plans to get the votes because I personally think he is, he would be amazing for this place. It would be the most beautiful city in the whole world if he had control of it. The competition is still there. False for mayor, Mumbo for mayor. It looks like people are really starting to enter the race. Okay, well, can someone please tell me, how did he get up there? There's no portal here. How on earth did he get up there? I feel like we need to put some more Mumbo for Mayor signs up everywhere. And I definitely need to get to work on that headquarters. The redstone shop that used to be in front of the town hall is now the red zone over there. And if I'm not mistaken, B-dubs made that and it looks absolutely amazing. I Oh, I love that. That is the cutest little airship. I don't know how it's flying, but it's awesome. Oh, it's got little, oh, it's got little hoppers. Very futuristic. That looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. The shopping district is getting improved every single day. But we still need a mayor. Someone who can be rid of the phantoms. And there truly is only one man for the job. At the end of last episode, we built up this tiny little island. And it's got the current mumbo jumbo for mayor headquarters. The tiny shack with nothing in it. So, another thing that I definitely want to do today is to start building at least the first part of the Mumbo headquarters. And there's one thing is for sure, it's definitely not going to fit on this tiny island. So, it may be on stilts, I'm not sure. I haven't really got a good idea, that's why I built this shack in the first place, but I think maybe if I just get into free flow, we could just go for it and see what happens. We only need to make one part of it. We can always make it bigger after. So let, let's at least get a meeting room ready for this because honestly, I think it's about time we told Mumbo that I'm, uh, I'm campaigning for him to be mayor. So let's get into it.
Have you ever seen the sun set over a mustache as magenta? No! <laughs> Ruined! Have you- <laughs> wait a minute. Have you ever seen the sun rise over a mustache before? <laughs> well, there it is. Mumbo headquarters. At least the start of it. I think my plan is to build based on our needs. So instead of building an enormous headquarters with loads of rooms that are just empty, I plan on making one room at a time. So what we need to begin with is a basic building and a meeting room. So that's exactly what I've done. And what's really funny, and I I'm pretty sure if I didn't say anything, I'd get a lot of comments about it anyway. I built this island to build it on, and then I made- <laughs> It barely even touches the island that I made for this specific purpose. This island has absolutely no purpose. I could have just had this straight out of the water. But because I, I thought of this, like, second compared to this, so... <sighs> Silly, really. Silly. But this might come in useful a little later on. Who knows? Let's go and take a little inside. Uh, let's go take a look inside. There's no entrance other than flying in on the landing pad that I've made here. There's like a balcony out on the ocean. It's a, I think it looks quite nice. But inside, we've got a very basic room inside Mumbo's moustache. We've got two chairs, one for me and one for the future mayor himself. And then we've got our campaign plan. Yeah, that's... That's kind of what I got for now. Mumbo for Mayor poster. It took me a long time to make this, so we better get good use out of it. And then, of course, some small decorations either side, because without these decorations, without this, you would not be able to see anything. You can't differentiate. In fact, if I go in here, without any blocks in here, it's really difficult to tell where they are, because they just super blend in. And look, if I just get rid of the light, now normally you can see blocks, but look at that. It might as well be an infinity room. Because if look, I place a block, suddenly it, <laughs> you can see where we are. If I remove these... Boom. My, my, it's so dark in here. Building with black concrete is actually really difficult. Just because it's hard to see where there is a gap there. Boom. So the next thing to do is actually tell Mumbo that we need to have a meeting. He has no idea, of course, that we've even started a headquarters. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know what Mumbo for Mayor is all about. I actually really like this. It's super simple, but it is it is what it is. This <laughs> this is what it is. This building shows exactly what it is by being what it is. Scar, do you place the wood signs around? Um, <laughs> yes, they're my Meyer signs. Okay, may I have a word with you in the town hall? Okay, let me call B-Dubs. Let's fly over to the shopping district and uh, see if those signs were okay or not. Mr. B-Dubs, you rang. I see you down there. Hello. I rang. Yes, hi. Woo hoo. What a <sighs> wonderful unfurling. Oh, right. Right on the throw. Oh, uh, but yeah, you, wow. uh, you, you mentioned the signs. Don't they look nice? Like, look, I couldn't come up with an exact campaign slogan, so I made 10 different slogans. 10 different slogans. Vote Scar. Trees and cats for all. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something. This is at least there are some other objects in that sentence. Come with me, please. There's minimal spelling errors, by the way. Yeah, that I'm very proud of. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. This one kind of caught my eye. Mm -hmm. um, vote scar. Minimal, I guess. Minimalist. Uh, it's like mi minimalist design. I'm appealing to the Apple users out there. Minimalist. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. But I, I think this is really bad. It's not this. I mean, that's pretty it's nice. It's not. And this is yeah. okay. I mean, this one's got some detail. I like it. But, right. um... But Go I look at that simple. one up there. Go look up there. Go look up. In the sky? Go away. Yeah, look up at the sky. Turn around. Oh, yeah, hold don't, on. No, let's, let's both please. Look. Yes, I did it. No, I did are you it. magic I man? You. How did you do that? <laughs> distracted. Ah, <sighs> you perfect. Did, oh, you did distract me. Yes, but this one, this one, want a tree? How about a cat? Vote Scar. That's good. Asking questions, forcing them to answer. These are all good things. Oh, I, I just feel like, is this your only platform? Like, are you just going to put the dark signs with the dark letters around? Well, it's all the wood that I had in my under chest. Okay. I, I want you to win. I'm the one that encouraged you to do this. You have me to thank for this mayoral run. Mm -hmm, I and, do. Uh, uh, I I want you to win. I want to see you win. I want you on par with with these. I want you on par with the mumbo sign and the, all the other signs. Look at this. Look at this sign has a floating text above it. 
It is not. Oh, oh, I didn't notice that. That is fancy. Also, this has a, a nice little heart down there. Um, right. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know how to make a map, so I made the signs. And you know, yeah. I feel like they they might even create a little bit of a, a stir, like being so much different than the rest. You know? Maybe. Yeah. You, oh, you're different than the rest. Trust me. False. False did a great job, but I'm telling you, everybody's gonna have blue signs because they're just using water. Okay. Yeah. They're gonna all start blending in. Hmm. I can make you something real special. Ooh. How much do you charge? Free. Free. Win. That's what I charge. <laughs> if I don't win, how much do I owe you? <laughs> Your life. Oh. Okay. All right, it's I do fine. really want to win. You're going to win. Oh, thank you. You will. Yeah. I'll help you. We can do this. Also, how about your image? You're not... You You. You got like this... Um. This kind of unshaven, kind of raggedy... Yeah, with the underpants on. Uh, I'm a wizard. You're a wizard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if that's going to be the best for the platform. Um, oh. Maybe, maybe, do you think there's a possibility you could clean it up a little bit? I, I mean, I can put something together. I can I can do that. I will do that. Meetups, you're, you're inspiring me. You're Good. filling me full of motivation, which there was a lack of at one point yeah. or another, maybe. Um, okay, I think I could shave. I think I could put on a nice pair of shoes. Um, so, yeah, okay. All right. Can okay. you be my campaign mayor, please? Yes, I'll be your campaign mayor. <laughs> I, even... I already campaign manager. Sure, I'd love to. Follow me this way, though. I want to show you one more thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, Scar. Mm -hmm. Over this way. Future. Future mayor. Scar. Yeah. And you built this for a community. You're <gasps> already starting to build a community. Look at this. Oh, Look at all you of these people. You warm my heart, B Dubs. Look at this. You added your head. Yes, I did. Yes, I'm Team Green. You see, the, just with these people alone, you convince these people, I think you've got the thing locked up. Ooh. So maybe you can use this this as your as a platform to kind of, you know, give them, give them some, get them in your side, get them to vote for you. You are the best campaign. Um, what yes, was it I again? Um, Mayor. Mayor. No, no, Sergeant? No. I'm campaign Sergeant. Yes. That's right. So I, was it Sergeant? Yeah, I want to be campaign sergeant. Okay, That's me. you're campaign sergeant. This is what I want. I want to just present all opportunities you can have to, to potentially win this thing. Because I think with you and me together, this thing's a it's a lock. You got the job. Good. Thank you. A ten hut. <laughs> Formation. Move out. Okay, campaign sergeant. What's the plan here? Yes. You're going to make a map. I'm going to make a map for you. And okay. it's going to stand out like none other. Mm -hmm. That's That's step one. Step two. You're going to shave? <laughs> well, I mean, can I take, keep a little facial hair? You keep a little. Okay. Just thanks. clean it up a little bit for me. Okay, and no slippers? No slippers, no underpants. Uh, okay. Actual pants. Okay, actual pants. And then um, we need a campaign headquarters. I don't know if you've seen the mustache headquarters, but we've got to compete yeah. with that. So I've got some ideas. I'll work on that. You work on the map. And victory is ours. It's a lock. Yes. So now that P-Dubs is our campaign um, sergeant or chief, what was it? I forgot what it was. It was one of those things. We need to build a campaign headquarters. Now, Mumbo and Grian have this fantastic mushroom. No, mustache, not mushroom. Why do I always have that problem of mistaking mushrooms for mustaches? Either way, they've got their mustache headquarters and we've got this sunken ship with a pillar on top of it. So we're making headway here. So yeah, this is uh, basically my campaign headquarters, a sunken ship. Uh, we have our chest of our books that we read because we're big readers here in the campaign and our paperwork and a clock because we're very punctual when it comes to calls and meetings. And what do we do with this? How do we make a statement here on the server that we're in this race to win it? Hmm. So now that I have an idea for what we're going to do, and I'll tell you about it in just a moment, but I'm going to leave little papers behind for when we do make a purchase so that the store owners know where those diamonds came from and maybe will help us at the ballot box. Now Tango and Impulse will know where those diamonds came from, and it is time to start working on our campaign headquarters over there. So I've got a storage and crafting station all built up, and our first task here is to build out a little island, and then eventually we're going to build something pretty sweet up in the air first. Got to work out a few more details, and then I'll tell you about it. The Good Times for All campaign island is now set up and ready to roll, and I'm quite happy about it so with oh wow wow so it's embarrassing when you see the inside of my head and it's empty 
So with that revelation of my head being empty, wait, wait, hold on, what's going on over here? What in the world? I just had this image of like a Minecraft gopher doing what Minecraft gophers would do, burrow and make mounds in the ground. <laughs> oh, I am the most distracted human on earth. Anyway, as I was saying, now that we're on the campaign headquarters island, it is time to start working on the first start of our HQ. And with that, what I'm gonna build is a giant hot air balloon up in the sky, and it will be holding down a giant vote for Scar banner with my head. We'll get jelly involved in it. It is going to be amazing. And I think it'll make a nice big statement for the Hermits flying into the shopping district and they'll see that and be like, Hmm, I also am an anti-mycelium advocate. So it's time to grab up our supplies and hit super fast build mode and build out this amazing banner and hot air balloon. So hit it. super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one giant hot air balloon with a tether attached to it holding up a giant sign vote for scar but not just any vote for scar a three-dimensional head that you can see from every angle as you traverse the shopping district and uh, look at this little tether right here one thing that i'm trying to do in minecraft lately is learn a little bit more about gravity in terms of how it would influence in the Minecraft world. So you can see how the tether kind of like drapes down and attaches in a way that it just gives a little bit more realism and a little bit more life to a build. It even is on a slight angle and uh, like with lighting or with um, proportions or perspective, it's always fun to experiment with something new in Minecraft to improve your skills and gravity is the one we're working on. Now the hot air balloon itself was nearly the end of me. <laughs> I almost gave up like five times, but I kept with it and I think it's looking decent. What it needs is color and it needs our campaign colors. Mumbo Jumbo. Hello? Our, our future mayor. The future mayor. The future mayor. <laughs> that is very, very confident of you. That is, I mean, <laughs> the pressure is definitely on. I feel like a lot of people have heard about this Mumbo for mayor thing and yeah. I, I don't know what's going on, mate. To be honest with you, I... I've kind of been caught a little bit off guard. Well, I can, I, I'll fill you in. Um, so I'm campaigning for you to be mayor. And <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. And right. I've made a headquarters for us. Oh, it, sweet. So we actually have like, so we have a place, a, a dent, like a hub where we can conduct mayoral activities exactly. and like form. All right. Okay. Well, well I, thought, I'm I thought I'd meet you here because I wanted you to try the, the diamond thrown on for size. See how it, see how it fits. Um, Am I allowed to actually stand there? I mean, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, there's, there's no mayor to tell you off, is there? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very true. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> who's going to stop me? How do I look? Do I suit it? Um. Yeah, you don't. Y yeah. You, you look yeah. interesting. I'm going to get down. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna say, face... I'll say the thing. Yeah. I'll say the thing. I'll say it's very you. 
<laughs> <laughs> I mean, my face doesn't suit these sorts of things. I can't have this sort of luxury with not a, a, with a face like this. Not, can a, I not know? at the moment. Not at the moment. No. Have you seen this, okay. by the way? You've seen the, the posters I've put up, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 There's, there's other people have have copied. Look at this. Vote Scar. Trees and cats for all. <laughs> what? Um, we don't even have promises like that on our poster. Well, we, we just we have a couple of promises. I've kind of promised everyone facial hair. Anyway, let me let me oh, come and show you the, okay. the, the headquarters, oh, dude. Let me show you the right. headquarters. Okay, okay. Whereabouts are we going? Uh, to the right, past the concrete shops. I don't know okay. why there's two. There we go. Look at this. Stop over here for a second. Take <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very obvious whose headquarters yep. it is. It no is on being... brand. It is <laughs> on brand. <laughs> no one's being mistaken there. This is like, I, I don't even know how to describe this. This is like the worst superhero base ever. And I mean that <laughs> in like a positive way. I've got my own my own facial hair as, as my base. How do you get into this place? Oh, yeah, there's a little um, platform here at the back that you, you get. And yeah, you kind of fly in. There we go. Ah, okay. See? And I was we... kind of expecting like splitting waterfalls or, or you know. I don't know how much budget you think I've got for this campaign. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Fair, fair enough. Take a seat. Fair enough. Take a seat. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and let us start our first mayoral campaign meeting. It is exciting. It is exciting. Okay. So obviously you're running for me to be mayor. That's... Mm -hmm. It was unexpected, okay, but it, clearly the people want it because it seems to have it seems to have gotten around. It seems to be very popular. Okay, I'm hearing nothing but mumbo for mayor at this point in time, which is great. Our mayoral campaign is clearly onto a winner. The one question I do have for you though is like, what? How does one? How does one do mayoral stuff? Like, what does a mayor do? What is the plan for our campaign? But I feel like we need to back it up with some some good plans and strategies for mayoral uh, stuff. You know. Uh... You didn't see the poster. You saw the poster, right? Yeah, I mean, I saw the poster, but that's just advertising the that's, mayoral campaign. What, that's the what plan. What do we plan on doing? The poster is the plan. Mumbo for mayor, right? <laughs> Mumbo for mayor. Plan. There's the Wait, plan what? right there in red and white. No, 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 no <laughs> that can't be the plan. Dude, no. no. No, the advertisement for the mayoral campaign isn't the plan. That's just telling people that I'm running for mayor. I, That's not a plan. There's no plan there. I don't, just... I don't know what mayors do. They sit on the diamond throne and stuff. And I don't think that's all they do. Post. They've got other things to do, Grian. But, but the poster. Look at the poster, Mumbo. I mean, it's a good poster. I mean, if there, if if ever a poster was was the plan, it's been executed <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, I haven't really got a plan. I didn't think I'd get this far. I didn't think what? anything through. Uh, uh, what, what, what is the plan then? I don't know. I, why am I asking you? What? You sure the poster's not enough for the? <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to think that maybe the poster is enough um <laughs> <laughs> well what if i was to what if i was to build some some someone you know i could build someone I could build someone yeah we could build someone <laughs> to come into the campaign like artificial intelligence style oh, like redstone a, okay, engineering like yeah like a robot a redstone like a, machine yes a meryl bot can, a, a, a green re mumbo meryl bot a gr grumbot a grumbot. A grumbot. <laughs> yeah. We can make a grumbot. Grumbot the mayoral bot. Grumbot is... the grumbot the mayoral bot. I am frequently astounded by what's possible with redstone, so I'm not even a little bit surprised. I okay, so I think I think we could definitely do that. Um, like, a, like an so... eight ball thing. It just tells us the answer. Exactly. It tells it us exactly us what to do. We I exactly. Love it. Yeah, so we, we present a mayoral question. Perhaps we feed it some mayoral information so it knows what to do. Yeah. And then and then and then we ask it mayoral questions and it gives us mayoral answers and then mayor. Okay, cool. No, I I'm down with that. Okay, so if I okay. I can build the outside of it because I don't know yes. redstone, and then you do yep. the technical doodads on the inside. Okay. And then we got yep. a grumbot. So you will have a handsome smart grumbot. You'll do the outside, I'll do the inside, and then mayor. I'm just going to say mayor. <laughs> like, that's, that is, like that's, that's, that's just what result. happens. You that's press the button happens. on the grum bot and you become mayor. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, 100%. But 100%. I mean, before before we do that, there is something I'm going to have to ask you to do. I know uh, sitting here, I've realized that. Could you take your helmet off for me just one sec? Yeah, yeah, no problem. No, uh, well, Duh! I mean, I've... Duh! <laughs> I was, yeah, I was about to say maybe actually I took that off very hastily. I probably should have given you like a couple seconds to warm up. <laughs> That is it's... not the face of someone people are gonna is gonna vote for. I'm just I'm I'm gonna put that out sure? there. Please don't take any offense to it. I wouldn't vote for you. And I'm I'm running right. for you. I'm running this campaign yeah. and I would currently yeah. would not vote. You need to get your mustache back. It is Right, okay. It is probably 
your one and only best feature. Do you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, okay, fine. I'm not going to take that. Gonna... <laughs> I feel like that was a sly dig. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm yeah. going to send you a skin to solve right. this problem. And okay. I need you. I need you to put it on. Okay. Okay. Much better. Really? I haven't looked yet. What do I? Could you give me like an audio description as um, to? Have I got? I got it's like it. so. You take like a, a paper and you pop it on your head. That's basically you... what's happened. You made that sounded like you were putting a piece of paper on your own head. <laughs> I then. was. Yeah. I was. <laughs> that's, that's really well. Okay. Let me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've got a handle and everything. Have I got a logo on the back of my head? Yeah, yeah, Does turn this around, turn around. lunch bag? It just, it is, it's my lunch bag. It feels greasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there might, yeah be a little, might be a little burger grease in there somewhere. Yeah, but some spare chips <laughs> just <laughs> all up in my hair. A couple of, couple of dry <laughs> chips in there. Um, and I've drawn drawn a little mumbo face on it. I must admit, yeah, yeah. way better. I'd vote for okay. you. Okay, but I still should you, probably get you need my, the real my... deal. I don't. Okay. I don't care what it takes. Go and beg Tango if you have to buy it back. I. I don't All care right. what you got to do. But your job is to get your mustache back from Tango. We can deal with like the the thing shaved out the back of your head because people aren't yeah. voting for the back of your yeah, head. No, They're voting no for deal. your front, yeah, the front yeah, of yeah. your face. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so plan is okay. <laughs> the plan is. I guess the plan is right now is is acquire mustache yes. make grumbot mess yes. yes i think we missed a few steps but that's that sounds about okay. right plan oh, cool let's go right. <laughs> sweet i'll get started on that then <laughs> you look like the worst superhero i've ever seen <laughs> proud to be one <laughs> you know watching the sunsets from the mustache is oddly satisfying this is the spot it's so calming so we now know the plan. Mumbo and I don't have a plan, so we're going to make a robot that gives us a plan. I've uh, got myself some materials for this machine. I have no idea what to do. I, I don't know what... I don't know how big it needs to be. I don't know what it needs to be made out of. I don't know what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to guess. I'm going to try and put the features of me and Mumbo into this machine. Now, the Mumbo for Mayor campaign has been very, very successful. But I think it's best that the people that are promoting Mumbo for Mayor, you know, leaving comments and stuff, definitely keep it to our comments, mine and Mumbo's. Don't go spreading it around the internet, please. It can be very frustrating for other people. So, Mumbo for Mayor, keep that in our comments. And as for the other candidates, Please, it would be absolutely amazing if you gave them as much support as you give us. This is a competition slash race slash fight for the diamond throne that's entirely fun between all of the hermits. So let's all try and make this the most positive experience for absolutely everyone. So just as much as you support me, you should support the others. Speaking of the others, I think it's finally been revealed who else is after that thing the Diamond Throne. And one of them is Stress Monster, who has gone with the campaign GG Get Gorgeous. And it says vote gorgeous, but I feel like, I feel, oh, look, there it is, there it is. There's two versions? Stress for Mare, there we go. And then we've got False Symmetry. So Stress Monster, False Symmetry, Mumbo Jumbo, our boy. <laughs> and we've got probably the worst campaign, Scar. Look at this, really bright, colorful, Really bright, colourful. He's got a dark sign with normal text on it. Vote Scar, Trees and Cat. That's so difficult to read, Scar. Look, from back here, you can't read that at all. So we got Scar, Stress, False and Mumbo. And Joe Hills for the dog. And I've actually seen a couple more headquarters pop up. Literally pop up. There's a hot air balloon. Vote Scar. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, you know, it's made my little mustache look pretty pathetic. Look at this. That is such a cool effect. The angle of that, mm, very nice. And the way that he's put all of those fences together, smashing. I mean, this is why we got to support our, our fellow hermits, right? Because they're doing a better job. <laughs> I mean, I still really like this. I think there's something very elegant and nice about this meeting room. And I'm about to expand this, but... Something also about this, Scar, 
Gonna be some real competition. And then over here, there's another headquarters that can only belong to False Symmetry. I believe this is in the same style as her base. And we can spy on the headquarters right now. Yep, yeah, False for Mare. I don't know where Stresses is, if she's got a headquarters yet. But it would be cool to see what that looks like when it pops up. It looks like... It looks like the Mare campaign is really starting to get going. So that brings us on to actually build the Grumbot machine. Now, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, because I, I don't know how big this machine has to be, I'm going to make a platform out the back here and then build the machine on it. And then later down the line, I will build the building it goes in. So I'm working a bit backwards, topsy-turvy. I'm going to build what's inside the building and then build the building afterwards. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's get into it with a new time lapse. Building the Grumbot. Let's go. Behold the Grumbot. Look how happy it looks. This design was a lot harder to nail down than a lot of other things that I've done in Hermitcraft. This, this took a really long time. I think I've got about eight different designs for various Grumbots. But this is what I settled on. It's got my fringe, it's got Mumbo's moustache, and it's a robot. I think that is three boxes checked. It currently doesn't work, obviously, because there's nothing technical inside. Now, if there needs to be more space for Mumbo, there is like, there's some there's some room to expand out the back if we need to. But uh, I, I, th I think Mumbo can do pretty well with that. Then hopefully we go like beep boop, and then something will come out here. Our instructions will be dispensed. Now there is something I really need to point out. There's this green, like the the matrix text going down the face of the Grumbot. This was an idea given to me by B Dubs, and oh my goodness, thank you so much, B Dubs. What a suggestion! The banners they sway ever so slightly in the wind, even though there's no wind in Minecraft. But it gives the illusion. Oh! <laughs> maybe I should uh, maybe I should build the platform a bit bigger. But it gives the illusion that there's like this green text moving down the screen. It actually makes it look alive just because of that very, very subtle sway in the banners. Now this is the banner here and all I've done is just laid it over each other again and again and it's just produced the most amazing effect for Grumbot. Now when you're standing here you can just about see and you'll also notice that it's kind of doing like a pose and this is intentional because Grumbot is basically shrugging and saying, I don't know either. <laughs> so whatever you get out of it, it's kind of just imagine that the Grumbot's going, eh, this is what you do next. So that is a big job done. And I'm so thankful that I didn't build the building around this first because I had no idea it would be this enormous. It is a huge build. It's much bigger than the headquarters itself. But from a distance, look how cool that is. Hold on. If I position myself correctly, can I make the moustache, like, go on the Grumbot? The answer is not really. And the other thing is, it totally blocks my favourite spot for the sunset. Ugh, Grumbot's just like, 
I don't know, you, you built me here, huh? I don't know. I'm Grumbot. I am extremely pleased with this, and I'm probably going to leave this for now because I've spent more than enough time designing robots and doing mayoral campaigns. I have just a few things left to do because unfortunately it is that time again. Look at that in the background. I have a few things left, but unfortunately it is that time again. We have run out of time. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to check up on the diamond situation because I. the great thing about building that... Oh wow, look at the ma- oh, that's- again- <laughs> again! My sunset gets taken away from me. The great thing about building so close to the shopping district, if I ran out of stuff, I just came over here and I shopped, and I probably spent over a stack of diamonds building that thing. Grumbot is here. I've been chatting with Green, and he says that the exterior has been all finished, the bot is actually constructed, and I assume it's over by the headquarters. So I'm excited to see what it actually looks like. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on? Look, can you see? Am I going crazy there? Or are those? That almost looked like it was wobbling as we were on our way in. It's like the textures are kind of going a little bit crazy. This looks amazing. Wow, whoa, 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 what just happened there? Oh my goodness, it looks like that. That's like Matrixy. Depending on, like, if you really squint your eyes, it actually looks like that, it's like the, the text is like going down the screen, you know, all the ones and zeros things. This is wicked. This is seriously, seriously cool. Okay, so I, I'm guessing these are all the inputs and outputs and things like that. I'm assuming that none of them are connected up to any form of redstone. If we just peek inside here, yeah, Grumbot is a hollow shell. So I suppose I should actually build up the brain for this thing. Which might actually be a little bit complicated. I mean, it's only creating an artificial intelligence, making use of redstone. I mean, how hard could it be? Quite hard, actually, considering I have I have zero redstone resources left. Uh, this is this is I have what 15 bits of redstone left to my name. So I guess I mean we might have to do this the old-fashioned way. We might have to go out mining. Anyway, should we start work on the Grumbot now? You have no idea how far I've had to go, how far I've had to travel to find these guys here. <laughs> I swear, leather must be the most valuable commodity on the Hermitcraft server right now. I mean, seriously, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I would totally say that it's worth it because we now have these little symbols or titles for each one of the buttons on the front of Grumbot here. So, step one is to prime Grumbot. So we have to hit that button there. Step two is to bootload the brain. Step three is to flood the mayoral reservoir. And then step number four is to deposit payment because I, I feel like Grumbot shouldn't be free for us to use. I feel like, you know, we need to pay him for his services. So I guess we'll have to put a diamond in there uh, and that will pay Grumbot to actually give us advice. And I thought it would be interesting to add in a few sound effects to this thing. So we've got... There we go, so we kind of have it going through all the different stages. Now I'm going to have to work on the artificial intelligence and the actual decision making circuits in a little bit, but for now I think it would be, I think it would be interesting, I've been chatting to Green about this, if we could have it have emotions. <laughs> so we could, we can kind of alter the eyes a little bit here and we can have it display its emotions. So for example, if it gets a stupid question, it can get angry at you. <laughs> if you ask it something that it takes offense to, then it can actually show that it's sad. We can program all this stuff into it. So I'm just gonna do a quick first test of it looking cross. Let's see, so if I, if I put something inside that dropper right there, I've taken out the item filter so we can put anything in there. And let's just see if the cross circuit is working. There it is. <laughs> We've annoyed Grumbot. Right, let's see if sad is working. Button is being pressed. Okay, now we wait. Wait for the things to be processed. I've forced it to be sad. Oh, that's almost a little bit upsetting. Grumbot has such like a emotive face. He's like a cute little puppy dog robot. A, a matrix... A matrix dog, I don't know. It is now the next morning, and I spent a lot of last night working on this thing. I I sunk a lot of hours into it because I mean as much as I like the eyeballs and things, you know, that it just felt like there was there was quite a lot missing from it. And also if he wasn't angry or sad, the face would have stayed the same. There wasn't too much animation going on. So I just <laughs> I went to town. 
I, I did all of the redstone, basically, I just got to it. The face is done, brain is done, everything is done. This thing is now functioning. And I do currently have it in test mode, so I guess we should give it a run. So first off, obviously we have to prime Grumbot, then we have to bootload his brain, then we have to flood the Meryl Reservoir, and then we need to deposit the payment, which is in the dropper. It's then going to run some calculations and things. <laughs> there we go, and, oh, okay, so he's a little bit sad that he's having to do tests, but as you can see, he has outputted the test message, so that means that this thing, it is, it's all working, it's ready to go, we now have, we now have ourselves a Meryl bot. <laughs> I mean, how could we lose the Meryl race now? There's literally no way that we can do it, look at this thing, alright? We have, we have artificial intelligence on our side. And it's smart artificial intelligence. It's like it's like super intelligent artificial intelligence, not stupid artificial intelligence. This is real intelligence intelligence artificial intelligence. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about either. I lost track of what I was saying about halfway through that. Check this out. So Cubfan has been working hard on this. I saw him working on it last night, but it looks like it's now all finished. This is the mayoral poll. So if we take a look in here. Welcome to the Hermiton Mayoral Poll. Here you can show your support for mayoral candidates. To support, right-click a candidate's face with concrete powder from the chest. To unsupport, click the button on the pedestal of the candidate. That's pretty cool, except I can't help but notice that I have no support. <laughs> I'm one of the only ones with no support as well. Am I allowed to support myself? I'm assuming I'm allowed to support myself. I'm going to support myself. Oh, this is an incredibly satisfying system, right? I'm gonna have to message Grian to, to also send me support. With that being said, I mean, now that I'm looking around, I mean, any member of Hermitcraft would be good for mayor. All of them are worthy mayors. Why can't we all be mayors? How about this? Forget the mayoral race. Everyone on Hermitcraft is a mayor. That might defeat the object, actually, of the mayor. If everyone's a mayor, then nobody's kind of a mayor. I'm actually gonna walk off to Grumbot now because I need to show Grian. And I've gotta say, I'm kinda nervous. You know, like, Green put a lot of effort into the outside, and it's absolutely adorable. So I just really hope that he likes the brain that I've put on the inside of this thing. Let's see what he says. I mean, I don't really understand how we've both ended up on these end rods, but I feel like this is what we should do every single time we come I here know, for some I reason. I, yeah, I, I agree. It's these end rods. <laughs> It, these are important. Oh my goodness. The sun setting behind Grumbot. He looks so majestic. Yeah, no, he does look really, really cool. I love, I, I, I did actually mention it in my video, but I feel like yeah. I should mention it to you. I love the green text. The the uh, green credit to B Dubs for that one. It was uh, it was that was his shout for that one. But well, it's it's very cool. I mean, th th this guy is like, it's like. Oh, it's just the coolest thing ever. So I've built up all the redstone. I've developed artificial intelligence in Minecraft making use of redstone. You know, I'm quite proud of myself on that one. It took a day. And a day? <laughs> yeah, just I'm... cracked artificial intelligence <laughs> like that. Just took a day. Really long tea. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, it should, it should all be working and we should be able to start asking it questions and things. Okay. Um, should we... How does, how does it work? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll explain buttons? that to you. Yeah, buttons? so what we've got is we've got this dropper right here. This is the important dropper because this dropper is actually what is going to give out the mayoral advice. Okay, so this is like super, super okay. important. So this is output. Yep, and then we have the different stages of priming, all of which are incredibly important. Uh, Prime, you can, yep. step one. Oh, I'm just trying to get that. Prime Grumbot. Step two, bootload brain. Yep. Bo bootload Incredibly brain. Incredibly important. Okay, step three, flood mayoral reservoir. Yep, that's the most important. What does important, that even arguably. mean? What does flood mayoral You just gotta flood the mayoral reservoirs, res you know, you just gotta get them flooded and mayoral. You, you may, be, may be the first humans ever to use that sequence <laughs> of words, flood you mayoral reservoir. That might have what? never been said before. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I would be surprised, and now I'm curious the situation is someone else used it. Yeah, okay, and then deposit question diamond. Yes. Deposit. What does that mean? We well, have to. Pay it. Yeah, you have to name a diamond, and then that's that's what you put the question in, and then yeah, you make your payment to. You designed to a machine that we have to pay to use. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the one that built this. Why did I make it charge? <laughs> I mean, I just thought, you know, like, you know, he, he probably has feelings too. He is not artificial intelligence. He doesn't want to be doing yeah. this for free. He's, he's, so, <laughs> 
<laughs> Everyone on this server needs or just wants diamonds. That's, that's yeah, all anyone yeah. cares about. Even no. the things that we create, they want diamonds. I know, I know, it's a real problem. Right. Well, look, should we should we start chucking questions into this thing? I've only done tests so far. I'm okay. really curious if it actually does work. And all right, yeah. Uh, I'll let. Do you, I'll, here, I'll give you. I'll give you some diamonds. Okay. Okay. Well, ask the first question. Um. Uh. What is our slogan would that be a good one what is yeah. our slogan we should know the answer because we know the answer to this one right yeah 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 in, so this in is theory like, this yeah. is like a this is like a, a affirmation like if, if he gets this right we know it's working right okay okay so step one we need to prime him boop boop oh it goes boop beep boop beep <laughs> bootload the brain <sighs> flood there's, there's reservoirs only, there's only one thing better than a button it's a button that goes boop beep <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> right do you want to do the honors what is our slogan all right Yay! All right, Ooh. it's calculating. Calculating. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay, we got a little moustache wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a proper. That's like a proper thinking. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and what does it say? Mumbo for mayor. Does it actually say mumbo for mayor? It says mumbo for mayor. Boom. Oh, nice, dude. It's mumbo working. For it's that's working. That's fantastic. All right. Let's let's t let's kick this up a notch. Let's, let's let's really let's really go to town on this. Okay. What is the meaning of life? What? No, dude. No, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, this is a mayor robot, man. This isn't like an artificial <laughs> intelligence. Well, I mean, it is an artificial Boom. intelligence. Uh, but uh, Prime. Yep. Yeah. I, I mean, it, you said you cracked AI. <laughs> it, there it goes. <laughs> Doesn't mean that it's that smart, dude. <laughs> Come on, Grumba. <laughs> well, he got an answer for us. He has an answer. <laughs> he presented an answer. <laughs> <laughs> it says Mumbo for Mayor. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, is that the meaning of life? I mean, it could be the meaning of life. I certainly feel like it's the meaning of life. I think it's the meaning of life for Grumbot. M maybe. You're right. <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's his personal meaning for life. <laughs> it or... is the meaning of... Maybe it's a bug. You know, maybe, 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 maybe it can it only says, say Mumbo it just, for Mayor. It just says Mumbo for Mayor, no matter what we put in. Um, uh, should I ask it, can it say anything different? Right, so the question is primed. Can you say anything different? I think that's, that's descriptive. Any... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you say anything different? Okay, cool. It's, it's also part of this conversation. Yep. Yep. The beep. The boop. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, are we, we gonna go. get a w wiggle, 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 wiggle? Hey, he's oh, got a response. What? Oh. He looks sad. Oh, he's, what oh, is he he's sad? sad. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I think we might have insulted his intelligence a little bit. Oh, what did? I think. What's he it said? Says, hold on, hold on. Yes, but Grumbot does not want to. <laughs> <laughs> is that really his response? <laughs> oh, bless him. So what are we asking him? We are asking him... Uh, I guess what, what's what the plan? Do? Just what what's do we do? The, what, what's the plan? What's the plan? Yes. What's the plan? Okay, we'll keep it intentionally vague so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nothing could go wrong. All right. All right. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Flood those mayoral reservoirs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Go. a fun thing to use. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get a bristle. Yay! <laughs> we're gonna get. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's angry. We've annoyed him. Oh, we've annoyed him. What does he want? Grumbot needs budget. We, dude, we just gave you four diamonds, mate. What? Grumbot, dude, what have you created? <laughs> what have you created? <laughs> You've created a robot, an intelligent robot that demands diamonds. Not only <laughs> to ask him questions, but he just he wants more diamonds. <laughs> But I suppose, I mean, I, maybe look he's... Hands, look at his hands. Those hands are like, yeah, I want to hold, like, it hold is true. diamond. I mean, maybe, uh, like, I, I, I guess, you know, mayoral races do actually require quite a lot of funding. I mean, maybe he's just saying that we need to yeah. provide funding. Well, yeah, so, I mean, it kind of makes sense, because if he's going to tell us to do something, we yeah. need to spend the diamonds to make it. Okay, of course, okay, Grandpa, of you got it. We'll get you diamonds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, yeah. We'll bow, Praise bow Grumpot. Down to you. Praise Grumpot. Praise Grumpot. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know whether to be excited that it worked that well or scared that it worked that well. I guess we'll have to wait and see how things go there. We'll have to see how all of this plays out. Anyway, as I was walking through the nether portal, I noticed, look at this. <laughs> My support has risen quite massively from zero up to, what have we got now? Four? 
How have I managed to get that much support? I mean, one of them's me. One of them's probably Grian. But that means there's two others that are, are unaccounted for. I'm... Ah, oh, I appreciate it. The mayoral race is going incredibly well. We've got a working Grumbot that is giving us advice. We have support from the Hermits, clearly. I've got my face back. I'm looking handsome again. I mean, I genuinely think we could be onto a winner here. <laughs> I completely forgot about our sign art from the last episode. I did that so late at night that I don't even remember it. But look at these amazing polling stations that Cub made. And each one of these concrete blocks represents support to the different candidates. And it looks like Mumbo is way up there and we're tied here with stress. Can we vote for ourselves? <laughs> Are we gonna make the difference here? So the idea is you take one block that represent yourself and then I, I guess you just throw it in there and then it should move up one block. Okay, I, I don't, oh yeah, we didn't do that right. Take two, let's see if this time it works. Nope. Hmm, I shall read the instructions. Probably should have done that in the first place. To support, right click on the candidate's face with the concrete powder from the chest. Okay, so you just click here. Oh, wow, that's amazing, Cub. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We are, we are now tied with Mumbo. <laughs> oh, this is super, super cool. We're gonna have to do a little bit more campaigning to get us over the edge. While we're here, let's check our shops for diamonds because I am in desperate need of diamonds. I am running very low because I've spent the vast majority of them on concrete. Come on, hermits, don't you need dirt? <laughs> Dirt's the best block in the game. Oh, <laughs> somebody bought saplings. Oh, five diamonds from leaves. That gets us two and a half stacks of concrete now. Fantastic. One stack of concrete, two stacks of concrete, three stacks of concrete. We are gonna have to restock this place soon. 22 diamonds is not bad. <laughs> Holy aqua thunder. That's enough concrete for today's project. An entire stack and just shy of a half. Don't worry, concrete shops. I'll be back now that I got diamonds. Doing a little organization and setting up our armor stands here at Larry the Snail. And I think this looks good. I like our little armor stands here with the wizard tridents in their hands. And we need to do a lot of work by packing up as much as we can and moving it out to Big Bud the Driller. But until then, Grian sent me a message about meeting him at the Diamond Challenge Mine. Scar? Yes? You remember the start of the season when you built this thing, the, the, the diamond mine, and you said, hey, I'm going to make this mining mini game and we're going to play, and then we never did? Yeah, it was the diamond yeah. challenge mine. Yeah, that didn't, didn't quite happen, but I actually do need diamonds now, <gasps> so I'm like, yeah, do you want to play? Oh, I'm up, for, I'm up for a game. One hour mining session, and we see who gets the most diamonds. So we're finally going to play. We're going to play. The, all this work play. on this. Oh, this is amazing. I like your new outfit. Oh, uh, well, thank you. It's, you it's the quite dapper. Powerpuff Girls. People keep saying Powerpuff Girls. I do not know what a Powerpuff Girl is. Really? <laughs> I don't know. All you, need, all you need is a monocle, and you are straight up the mayor from Powerpuff Girls. Oh, it, it, it has a monocle. Let me let me get you here. Let me. Get, I got you. Don't worry. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You are seriously. <laughs> you are. You are him. You are the mayor from Powerpuff Girls. Um, speaking of which, here you go. Take a Ooh. take a gander at that. It's just that's for you. Oh, I have I have like <laughs> twenty of these in my shop now. Um, but you can take one of my signs. It, it doesn't have anything on it. You can write vote for Scar if you want to be polite. Oh wow, what an amazing campaign! Cool. <laughs> Look at my outfit. Come on, Mumbo does yeah. not walking around looking like this. A man we, walks into a, into a room like this. Did. People take notice. People stop. People go. I wonder what his opinion is on this. No, no, no. What they say is, is that the mayor from Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. I was going to build a diamond counter and all this stuff, but I never got to it, sadly. Yeah, so there's the just a sign on the challenge. wall. Here it is. Sign on the wall. Nothing. <laughs> we'll make our own rules. <laughs> um, there's a minecart system here. I don't need minecarts. I can fly. Pretty simple, right? We we go each go our own direction first. But well, after an hour, we see who gets the most diamonds. But what's the stakes? Who? What's the prize? Um, you temporarily support me, or I temporarily support Mumbo. <gasps> deal. <laughs> yes. Deal. Deal. <laughs> oh, that is such a good deal. <laughs> How? How, dude, it would be, see, I'm just a campaign manager, right? But you're actually running for mayor. So if you, if you actually have to go and support someone else, that is terrible. That is, 
Wait, you're on. <laughs> you think my campaign sergeant would be upset about about that? Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Mm. But I think it's a good deal. I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the yeah, risk. Okay. All, All right, right, let's go. One hour. Let's go. <laughs>
Well, they weren't all this, vote. Like this one over here, want a tree? How about a cat? Vote for Scar. It's a good, it's a good <laughs> right. cat trace. Oh, right. you have the map done? Oh, it's done. Oh, it's done. I'm so what excited. You tell me to turn around. Tell me to turn around. Oh, okay. I'll tell you to turn around in three, two, one. Whoa. Turn around. Oh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's my favorite color, you, too. Oh. What's your favorite color? There's Orange. a lot of colors in there. Orange. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look, look at, at Jelly. This. Look at Jelly. Oh, oh, yeah. She's so cute. And she even has my yes. face. Oh. Yes. It's Jelly with your smirk. <laughs> and look, it has a check mark. So people are kind of reinforced in that they want to check the mark for us. Oh, exactly. Right. Vote for yeah. Scar. Vote for good times. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so yes. beautiful. This looks so hmm? good. I love it. Now we're talking, huh? This is really good. Thank you, B Dubs. Yeah. You're the best campaign captain. Sergeant. Sergeant. Captain! Yes. I promoted? You're promoted. You're promoted. You're promoted to captain. Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You will be you will be even happier when you see something else that I've done. Come follow me this way. Ooh. Yes, as you can see, as you know, people are supporting people now, right? Yep. And mm -hmm. I, oh. of course, came over here and supported you. So there's oh. one, two, oh, three, four, you. five. There's oh. four now. Mine was a fifth. I sup I put um. <laughs> Why'd you go back in the box? Did you do something? Hey. Why? Is it was at five. What did you do? I. Okay. I have a confession to make. I knew this would come up. Um. What? You know, Green and I were just having some lols and some jokes down in the mines, and there right? may have been a wager here or there, and the wager was if I won. He would have to support me, and if I lost, I would have to uh, support Mumble. Support Mumble, and you did. You lost, and it, it took and us down by one. Mumble's in the lead now. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna make it up to you. I, I, I I'm gonna allocate all the diamonds that I got from that mission to the campaign for campaign purchases. Look, campaign funds. Look, look at the shiny diamonds. That's, Don't look at me. Shiny diamonds. That's not much. That, I mean, it's good. This is good. This is good. This is for our campaign. Don't be sad. Listen, listen. Everybody makes foolish, foolish, foolish. <laughs> wow, this was foolish. <laughs> no, no. <sighs> oh, we had it. I mean, this is what we were up. Scar, we were up five, five to four. I know. And now it's four to five. Well,. Is there anyone out there that we could get to help us get over the edge again? Yes. 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 We can. Yes. Uh, this is my job as campaign ca captain. Captain. This is my yeah. job. Okay. Is to help promote and get more people on our side. I, I can make it up to you again. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I made a campaign headquarters. Oh, <gasps> you did. Yeah. Let's go look at that and forget about okay. this other thing. Hello down there, little fella. Look at this giant campaign headquarters. We got the vote for Scar and everything. Little fella? <laughs> You're so small down there. <laughs> I'm 5'10". That's average height. Well, I did, okay. I'm actually I'm actually six foot, but I'm like four feet in a wheelchair, so you're taller than me. Okay, yeah. I still, still, you're taller than me. But you look so, so small you, down there. <laughs> it's okay for you to call me little fella. This is it, huh? This is, uh, this, this is, the, is the headquarters. Yeah, isn't it great? It's good. It's good. It's got your face. It's got mm -hmm. a vote sign. Can I come up? Yeah, or yeah. Come I, on up. Come on as, up. As, okay, okay. I was just wondering, you know, as captain, do I do I have the clearance? To... <laughs> yes, you've been promoted. <laughs> okay, okay. Perfect. So, oh we're, yes, we got okay. this platform right. So I was thinking we could do like a telescope, looking at that robot thing out in the fog. Um, yeah. A desk for Jelly and a desk for me, and you got a little spot over in the corner over there, and I think it'll look really good little spot in a corner over here yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it's a little breezy it it's is a, it's a little breezy it's a little breezy they've got a robot and we've got hot air this balloon out in the i mean it is beautiful let me just say that it's beautiful mm -hmm. um but i do you think it's giving the mayoral presence that we would want to portray okay you know what? I got an idea. Just what? came to me. Okay. What okay. if? Work with me here. Mm -hmm. 
What if on okay. the island, we expand the island down there. See, there's a big tether that holds it together, right? Yes, yes. What if Jelly is holding the tether and we build a big campaign headquarters inside of Jelly and we access <gasps> through the rump? <laughs> through, through the rump? Through her backside? Well, you could say the tail. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm okay with that. Good. <laughs> Maybe I could have like a secret entrance where I would go in a different way. Hmm. We could we could think about it. But what okay. if Jelly like e expanded over time? Like you know she had like accessory belt or something. Just got bigger Ooh. and bigger. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now you're thinking. This is good. I like this. This is the type of thinking. This is mayoral thinking. Hey, we should make a map that's like a, a mycelium block with an X through it. Yeah. Oh, good for no mycelium. When you will make that map. No, you. You're the campaign um, um, first lieutenant. I'm the, I'm the map guy. Yeah. And it was, so you want me to make mycelium block map with an X on it. Yep. Yeah. So you oh. work on that. Goodbye. Okay. See ya. My brain, when it comes to building, is like a prune. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's like a, a crumpled piece of paper. And if I keep building, it's going to fire up my head and into the bin. Which isn't good, so I'm, I'm gonna do something else. And that something else is have a chat with Grumbot. I'm sure that'll make me feel better. Oh, and it looks like Grin has supplied Grumbot with a little bit of budget, so I guess I should probably do the same. I mean, I'll pile up, let's say, seven diamond blocks on this side right here. Is that enough budget? I mean, that seems like it would be a good amount of budget. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I think it's quite clear who the driver behind this campaign is. <laughs> You have to remember, I didn't ask to be mayor, okay? I didn't, I didn't ask to be a part of this. I would say my donation is plenty good enough. Anyway, let's ask this dude a question, okay? We'll find out what we actually need to do next because I feel like, you know, we still don't really have a plan. I've provided it with budget, so so what do we do next? All right, so let's, let's do this. Bootload the brain, flood the mayoral reservoir, and boop boop. All right, he's got an answer, and he's so temperamental. <laughs> Why is he angry about this one? I've already answered that. When did he answer that? Is that what Green <laughs> Wait, hang on. Have I asked what Green asked, and he doesn't want to repeat it to me? That's so ridiculous. I paid you a diamond, dude. You can you can answer the same question as many times as you like. You're getting paid every single time you have to answer. Could you answer again? <laughs> I mean, surely, surely you can't take issue with that. All right, he's calculating, he's calculating. He's got an answer. And he's still angry. I, I mean, it, it's no surprise. It honestly is no surprise. Fine, Grin. He does. I paid a diamond for that answer. I, I paid a diamond for him to tell me that I just need to find Grin to. Oh, building Grumbot may have been a mistake. This this could have been a mistake. Oh, for goodness sake, I just joined. I saw him. He was there and now he's left the game. I thought, oh, what? I can't disappoint Grumbot like this. <laughs> I don't know what he'll do. He has made a return and he is wearing a rather fancy t-shirt. I want to ask if, if Grumbot is responsible for this because I really want one of those. That looks so cool. <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> oh wow, it's the full nine yards. <laughs> All right, I, I guess I need to get myself one of those then. Why do I kind of look like a superhero? <laughs> I, <laughs> am I the only one who's seeing this? I mean, obviously, you know, I've got my, I've got my fresh new t-shirt and I'm looking good, mumbo for mayor and all of that. Fully tucked into the pants, of course, because the high pants have to stay. Why do I look like a superhero, though? Like a full-blown superhero. We need to meet up with Grumbot. Hopefully the advice that he gives today isn't quite so vague. It's a nice t-shirt, mumbo. 
Why, thank you. Do you like how I've... It's still... I had to maintain the height of the trousers. <laughs> you look like the worst superhero. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought as well. You know what's funny, though, is that it is a little bit embarrassing because I look like I've just got a t-shirt with my name on it. <laughs> it just says Mumbo. <laughs> it just says Mumbo. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello, my name is Mumbo. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, you know, that's that's a little bit embarrassing. It's also, you know, now that you're here... Yep. I mean... My my diamond pile is a tiny bit embarrassing as well. You know, yeah. Grumble asked for budget. I thought, I, you know, I was like, oh, you know, this is decent amount. Yep. What's that? I mean, it's What's a, that? It's a stack is that of five. Five? Is seven? That, that's not a stack. It's seven. It's, it's not seven. even a stack. You just said that's a stack of diamonds. <laughs> that's that... a stack of diamonds right there, dude. I still don't know what he wants these diamonds for, no. which is kind of why we're here. What does he want now? We're both wearing our, our Mumbo for Mayor t-shirts. Yeah, uh, looking good. Yeah, I mean, shameless plug link is in the description for of those course, if you want of one. Um, I can't even see yours because you. You're, 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 <laughs> we, should just, we should also sell a crop top. <laughs> and it just says Mumbo. It's just been just cut off from the Mumbo. Just, just the Mumbo. The Mumbo. <laughs> tell us what to do. Tell us what to do. Okay, that seems just, like a good just move. Just tell us what to do. It's not even a question. Just yeah. tell us what it's to do. command. We are now just, commanding just, Grumble. Just, just tell us what to do. Okay. Uh, right, let's prime him up. Prime yep. Grumbot. Bootload the brain. Flood those mayoral reservoirs. Yep. And go. What does he want? Okay. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, what does he want? What is he saying? He's saying... Processing. Oh, oh. that was oh. fast. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, hang on. Wait, he actually... <laughs> He's formulated a long-form answer. I guess... <laughs> I mean, the paper just says processing, and that's it. Right, what does he say? So he was just read, kind of working things out. out. Okay. Read out in Grumbot's voice as well. I want you to do, do an impression of Grumbot. Oh, my goodness. What would Grumbot sound like? Beepy boopy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all binary. You know what? I'm no, going to give this to you. you know, what, what voice would you give him? Oh, no, no. Now he put me on the spot. <laughs> I know. It's scary, isn't it? Instructions for my creators. <laughs> Why does he sound so dark? Why does he sound so scary? He's like the Terminator. It's, cause, it's because he types. He types in capital he letters. He does do that. That's okay, why. fine. Keep that going. Creator one, build a Grumbot shop. Creator two, build a Minecraft film studio. Well, I guess we need to decide who's creator one, who's creator two now. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, I, I I think I'd like to take the task of building a film studio. Uh, that, okay, that, sounds like, that sounds I'll like that sounds like fun. Okay. I'll do the shop. Okay, I don't know what... What is a Grumbot shop? <laughs> I don't know. What's the perf... Why do I need to build a film studio? <laughs> what? Yeah, what's, what's the, the <laughs> reasoning behind this? We didn't even... We didn't even pause for a second no. to question what any of this means. All right, can you elaborate? So, we need to prime. We need to bootload. We need I to forgot, flood. <laughs> forgot about the, the cut-out moustache on the back of your head. <laughs> Dude, that has been the, the centrepiece of all my thumbnails recently. It's like the, <laughs> the main thing that people can see. <laughs> anyway, let's shoot this thing through. Right, so hopefully he elaborates because... Yes, yes. What? Grumble. Elaborate. Explain yourself. Oh, all well, right. he's emotionless again. Not really. <laughs> That's oh, so pleasant. Oh, he's given two. He's given two. What? Mumbo for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Why did we build Bright. this? Well, as always, that was pretty vague. I think I need to fulfill Grumbot's task. I need to build up a film studio. I don't know why I need to build up a film studio, but a film studio needs to be constructed. I swear there was one point where I had loads and loads of grey concrete in here. I know it doesn't seem to be there, and I know that if I create a bunch of grey concrete, as soon as I've created it, I'm going to find all of it, and I'm going to hate myself. I'm preparing for that moment. I'm preparing for it. I gathered the sand, I gathered the gravel, I gathered all of the white dye and the black dye, combined it all into the grey concrete powder, I'm now converting the concrete powder. I know when I finish this, I'm going to find stacks upon stacks of pre-made grey concrete. Ren seems to be at the polling stations, okay? I, I can't help but notice that he seems to be looking very intently at the Get Gorgeous mayoral campaign poster and not very intently at my Mumbo from Hair one. I'm keeping an eye on you, Ren. I can't believe it. I can't believe what I'm witnessing. I can't believe what I'm witnessing. <laughs> he 
he supported stress right in front of my eyes. Well, hopefully with Grumbot's advice of building up a film studio, we can win Ren back. Have you ever tried to say the words win Ren back? Win Ren back is a very difficult set of things to say. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Right, this is my very rough idea for a film studio currently. I'm kind of basing it on the things that they have at like Pinewood Studios and stuff like that. It's essentially a big sound stage. And as you can see, it looks very industrial, pretty blocky, and I'm building it just off the edge of Grumbot here. So I guess we need to run pathways to and from it. And oh my goodness, I've built it floating out in the ocean. I've just realized. Ah, oh, I mean, I guess I could build it downwards or we could build, we might have to build like a raft around it, like a big rubber dinghy. <laughs> We can have the world's first ever floating soundstage. Would you say this is the best rubber dinghy colour? And actually, can I just get concrete powder? Or is that not up for sale? It doesn't look like that's up for sale. Alright. <laughs> so I've just started placing in the blocks and this... This has ended up looking far cooler than I expected. <laughs> oh, this is just the idea of a floating film studio is brilliant. I think all builds surrounding Grumbot should be in various inflatables. Like we start things off with a rubber dinghy and then we have something on a lilo, then we have something on one of those inflatable swans, one in an inflatable donut. Honestly, this is just one of those ideas that comes from a problem that actually works out being better than if the problem hadn't existed. And you know what, speaking seriously here, I think that's the beautiful thing about Minecraft. It throws problems at you, it forces you to think things through and create solutions and then dinghies happen, okay? Like that's the great thing about Minecraft, that problems, solutions, rubber dinghies. Our rubber dinghy is now all completed, so I'm just working on placing the roof on this thing, which is going to be suitably industrial looking. Just a whole bunch of stone slabs, basically. But I'm going to be honest, that didn't look great, so I'm going to start throwing some stone bricks into the mix. I actually think I was going to just cover the whole thing in stone bricks, but it might be worth having like these lines of stone bricks. That feels industrial. Nearly there. And there we go. Okay, we've got ourselves a roof. And now this thing, that is looking perfect. So there is our little offshore film studio. I guess now I have to work on the inside. I tell you what, this little super smelter right here has been working incredibly hard over the past couple days. I don't know why, I just don't seem to have stone supplies. So I have to keep smelting up cobblestone to get smooth stone. And then obviously to get the smooth stone, the smoother stone, I have to then smelt the smooth stone. Oh my goodness, I'm losing track of what I'm saying. I've just realized I refer to this as smooth stone. I refer to this stuff as smooth stone. Cobblestone is cobblestone. Then we've got smooth stone. Then I guess this is smoother stone. So you have to smelt the cobblestone to get the smooth stone. Then we have to smelt the smooth stone to get the smoother stone. Then I have to convert that into slabs. So here is the inside of our film studio. And I do feel like it's worth mentioning that in a real life film studio, there is no way that you would have a massive yellow band going around the outside because the light would bounce off of it. It would create horrible yellow casts on the set and it would ruin all the skin tones of the actors and everything like that. It would be a nightmare. But this is Minecraft, okay? We can lose a little bit of realism. Now it's time to start chucking in some of the things that we were going to have in our film studio. So, I mean, I guess we should probably have some lighting rigs up at the top, a whole bunch of space lights up there. So that should be thing number one. But then we actually need to create like a stage. I mean, I don't know what Grumbot wants, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm being stupid here, but this place is called Discount Concrete, right? I want to buy some green concrete. How do you open the chests on a llama? <laughs> I just keep I just keep jumping on him and now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck in here with the llama. Oh, I see. So I actually have to ride the llama and then I can access the lime concrete. Okay, well that is I've got myself a bargain there and this is way more fun. How is it that I'm a professional Minecraft player yet I seem to know so little about actually playing Minecraft? Things are coming together in here. We've got our space lights up. So that's giving us a nice even exposure all the way across our, our stage. I'm taking this a little bit too seriously. I've also got, I've got the green screen in place. Now I think it's time to actually start building up some like camera systems and things. And I came up with this idea that we should totally have like a dolly track going across this area. In fact, actually, the dolly can go probably around about here because it has to be quite a big system. This guy's just spawned in, and I'm wondering, do you reckon he would make a good camera? Like, that does... that kind of looks like a... that, that sort of looks like a cinema camera if you really squint. <laughs> as long as you don't look at the... 
As long as you don't look at the front, that's probably the most camerary thing I can create. Because the for those of you who don't know, most cinema cameras are made by a company called Arri. It's an Arri Alexa Mini, and they are a kind of dark bluey colour. I've always wanted to own an Arri Alexa Mini. I think they're Honestly, I, I dream of them at night, and now I've got one, and all I had to do was kill a wandering villager. I've added a few more details into this place. We've got a techno crane, we've got a few monitors and things off to one side, and we have a few C-stands just prepped up or propped up against a wall. I would say, as far as film studios go, I mean, this one... This one has a lot of bases covered. So, I think it's safe to say that we have completed Grumbot's task. We have built up a film studio. Hopefully, he feels satisfied. I think this might be the only film studio ever constructed in a rubber dinghy. So, I'd say we've got that covered. But yeah, I'm feeling really, really good about this thing. But first, there are some very, very important things that we need to attend to. We recently built up a film studio. You know, it's filled to the brim with geeky camera accessories. I really went to town in there. It's in a rubber dinghy, which I personally think is hilarious. But we currently have no use for it, so I guess we have to find that out. Let's catch up with Grian and then activate the almighty Grumbot. Why do we always start these recordings on top of an end rod on either side of this platform? <laughs> I don't know, but it, it feels right. I think we can both agree that <laughs> it know, feels right. The thing is, though, like we both just we just stand on it. When there's no communication, it's just we both start <laughs> no, here. <laughs> no. It's like as we're about to start, we just both land on each other's end rods and then we just <laughs> stare at each other from a distance. You know, and then gradually just hop off and start <laughs> looking at this thing. Right, we have we've done what Grumbot said. I can see you've built up your uh, film studio, of looking course. good. You, yeah, yeah. And I've built up the the Grumbot shop or the Drumbot shop, which is incredibly difficult to say. Yep. Yeah. And now, tell us what to do again. Yes, basically, that seems to be the question that we we just throw at this thing. Just like, what <laughs> next? We have done what you said. All in. All in. All in. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, I don't know why I always get really nervous before this. Like, I'm, I'm like assuming just, he's, he's not going to do because anything. because sometimes he gets angry. <laughs> and you, know, you never know if, if he's just going to smite you. <laughs> it's very true. Oh, oh, oh another book. Oh, it, says, not... it says Grumbot is proud of you. Oh, that's that very is so sweet. Cute. That is very cute. Grumbot is proud of you. Okay, so, but he's, oh, he's given us further instructions, though. Grumbot will now supply the plan. Creators, you must sell diamonds the budget for support on the Mumbo for Mayor campaign. Sell, di sell diamonds. Is that, for the, is that in the shop? Sorry, wait. That's <laughs> what the budget's for. We're giving them away. But selling diamonds, is that That is sounds that really legal? shady, Grumbot. That sounds really shady. <laughs> is he is suggesting that, a, that we bribe people for support? <laughs> you must also use the studio to film an advert for Mumbo for Mayor. Okay, so we have to make an advert for Mumbo for Mayor. I that guess sounds, that that sounds cool. I mean, that does make sense. I mean, now that the makes, film studio makes, does make that total makes a lot sense. of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how I feel about selling the diamonds um, for support. It's a bit weird. <laughs> but you, it, I, this piece of paper that says Grumbot is proud of you, I kind of want another one. Well, things have. <laughs> oh, he's referred. To, he said, "Good luck, dads," as well. Oh, has he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've gone from creators to dads. I've got an okay. idea, by the way, to make the the um, the diamond thing a little less weird because right, you know okay. yep. I think he's I think he's found a loophole in the system. Potentially, but I think we could offer we could offer some more. I think what we should do yeah. is every purchase of diamond blocks, we yep. give them a free mustache to show their support. So it's like part of the deal, right? Why is it that most plans in this season of Hermitcraft seem to, seem to lead to me losing my moustache in some form or my moustache ending up somewhere else? I'm open to it, okay? I want to be mayor <laughs> real bad, okay? Bad enough that I'm, I'm willing to give away my moustache. And what if also, I mean, in the shop, we could get the hermits to show their support? Maybe by... If they, if they bought two diamond blocks, they could really show their support by running our TV advert. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Grumbot, you're a genius. It is. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. I'm gonna, okay, right, we're going we're gonna to have to shave your head. Okay. Oh, have I got, yeah, i got some shears. Ready? Are you ready? I'm going yeah. to shave your head. Lots of moustaches. Oh, they're coming from my head. Oh, yeah. At that point, it was far too late for me to launch any major protest. Oh, uh, let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> oh. <it> oh, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How many did you remove? <laughs> uh, I think okay. So excluding the one that was already there, of we course, got yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five extra. But I, I cut out more. I'm sure. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, look, what? Up, look up. Look up. I, I can't. I can't see. Oh, you, you, <laughs> 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 I 
hang on, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even know I had hair there. I did, yeah, yeah, dude, you've been rocking a beard by the, by the looks <laughs> of things. It's a full-blown under-the-chin beard. Hold on, look, da- look down as well. Yeah, you got one of them back as well. I mean, I don't think I've had a single <laughs> a single week where I haven't looked totally <laughs> ridiculous on this server. How long has it been since you had your normal skin it's on? It's been too long. It actually feels <laughs> weird seeing me with my usual skin. You know, it's, it's bizarre. Anyway, following the shaving of my head, it was now time to do my segments for the commercial. And I totally should have shaved my head after filming it. Oh, you got a whole studio in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good lighting. Green screens. We've got a dolly works. track. We've got All Villager right. Trader cinema camera. <laughs> Villager Trader. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a real brand. Three, two, one, action. No, that, more. No, oh, okay. I thought that was just a heroic. More. I thought I'd do the, the look away from the camera, you know, like heroic. Uh, yeah, move, yeah, move around. Yeah, yeah, oh, do, yeah. do some. Do, yeah, oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, work it. Work it. Work it. <laughs> this do feels the, wrong. Do a jump. Do a jump. Okay. What? You can you can fix all this in post production and cut. <laughs> nice. <laughs> commercial sorted. Yeah, commercial done. Then it was time to sort out the Grumbot store. Grumbot Junior, gr- dr- Drumbot, whatever is <laughs> the cute, cutest, the, the cutest, cutest shop that ever the, lived. Yeah, that is the cutest shop that ever lived. I am wondering though, how do you? Where do you go inside? Is it? Um, I didn't actually install a door, but here. <laughs> Oh, we're just destroying our way in. Uh, yeah, you just... <laughs> that's it. Uh, and there's also clearly no interior whatsoever. <laughs> it's pretty simple, right? We just have a few chests, mm-hmm. and it will have... Uh, so if you just, like, want to put on, I don't know, Mumbo for Mare t-shirt, one diamond block. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good move, yeah. selling t-shirts. Or selling, selling t-shirts. diamonds for t-shirts. Uh, um, if you want to... If you want a moustache, it's two diamond... You can... you can. Uh, it's two diamond blocks, selling okay, two sense. diamond blocks. People are gonna be so confused, right? Because it's just the opposite. And then, if you wanna, if you wanna support Mumbo for Mayor the most in exchange for diamonds, mm-hmm. then it is. Oh, we could do four. Then it's four for the advert, the mustache, and the T-shirt. Mm. Whoa! I mean, what that is the, that's like the ultimate support package, right there. That is the support. That is the ultimate support package. I'm there excited to see everyone running the commercials and wearing the T-shirts <laughs> and wearing the mustaches. <laughs> People who are new to Hermitcraft are just going to be so confused. <laughs> I do have high hopes for the Meryl campaign, though. I mean, this strategy is completely faultless. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier on, obviously during that little AFK session, I was literally putting the finishing touches on on the commercial. And it's now all done. So I'm going to pack up all of my shulker boxes and things, and I guess... I don't know where I should go to show you guys this. The film studio? I guess the film studio makes sense. That's where it was all produced, so let's head over there. Here it is. The Mumbo for Mayor commercial, named like all filming projects are. Uh, I, I guess I just. So there we go. <laughs> there it is. Uh, and I, I think it's safe to say I had far too much fun making that. Like, far too much fun. I, I watched a ton of 1980s intros to, like, police police shows. Like, Hawaii Five O and and all that sort of thing. Miami Vice and all that. So there's plenty of inspiration taken there. And I have to say, it's uh, it's ended up being fantastic. So that is a commercial that hopefully you're going to be seeing a lot more of soon. Because hopefully a lot of hermits buy the full support package, getting four diamond blocks, and then they have to run that commercial in their videos. Grumbot, you've done it again. This was probably the best idea ever. I'm, I'm so pleased with you. So I guess I should send this over to Grian. And I think the best possible way that I can send it over to Green, instead of using like a file sharing service or anything like that, is just to make use of the Hobbit Hole messaging system. Commercial done lol, and then obviously the actual disc itself. I hope he likes it. I put, I put a lot of hours into that. I really do hope he appreciates it. I can't help but notice, I, I've just come through to the shopping district. I seem to be pretty much in last place. I mean, Doc M hasn't actually been on the server for about a month. So, so he, he has no votes currently, but look, we've only got three support. 
I mean, Joe Hills is rocking it, but he's kind of running for dog catch. He's doing his own thing. But False is killing it. Scar, stress is absolutely blasting ahead. Ah, oh, Grumbot. I mean, we should have known. We should. We built him, right? Graham built him up. Already looking confused. He's shrugging his shoulders. He's like, I don't know. You, you tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, we built the film studio. We've got the advert. We've got the Grumbot shop. Actually, on the topic of that, I should probably see what the Grumbot shop is doing. Uh, what, what's happening here? Oh my goodness, look, there's advertising going on and everything. We've got some staunch competition. With that being said, we do have the most adorable store in all of the land. So that could be playing to our favour a tiny bit. Has anyone... Oh my. Oh, people have bought moustaches and everything. And we've even... <laughs> I wonder who's run the advert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to look out for that now. Something I've noticed while wandering throughout the shopping district is the fact that, uh, we don't have any of our signs anywhere. We need to change that. Found our maps, thankfully, and I'm making a few item frames here to place down our maps. So I want to go around to different people's bases, place down our signs, and of course, set them up in the shopping district. We have spammed many signs throughout the shopping district, so mission accomplished and soon, with the vote of the hermits, we will rid Hermitcraft of mycelium. Speaking of mycelium, I wonder how the mycelium poster that we tasked B-dubs with making in our last episode is coming along, but as I did my intro, I saw this little thing that I forgot to investigate, and <laughs> it's jelly. Oh, look at how cute she is. She's amazing. Anyway, what is this? Is this, is this a cat box? <laughs> jelly, is this a cat box? <laughs> Who built that thing? I know you didn't, you lazy cat. Uh, hello. Uh, ne next step for humans. <laughs> next step is uh, cat boxes? No, Jelly. The toilet is superior. I will tell you that. Um, hi, book. Hello. Um, bring me four fish, scratch my chin exactly four times, and clean out my litter box. You need to buy as many diamond blocks from the dram shop as possible to stop them. Oh, wait, pos, pos bubble? Okay, I'm way too dyslexic for that word. I think it's paw impossible but it's just beyond me. Um, let's see from advertising, but this is perhaps less important than my first demands. Come back to me when this is done and we will claw our way to the town hall. Je Hello, you real? <laughs> Who is controlling Jelly? Who is this, is this B-dubs? Oh, B-dubs maybe left this for me. I don't know, I'm super confused, but I mean, somebody's gotta clean this cat box out. I mean, geez, look at this. Look at this filth, look at the smells. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go back here to this book one more time because I don't know what this shop is. The drum bot, or drum, drum bot shop? Stop them from advertising. Hmm, Jelly, who's controlling you? <laughs> or is she controlling herself? Well, there's a lot of weird stuff going on on the server. <laughs> so let's pop back to the shopping district and see what this dram bot shop is. You're a robot, but you're not a drum bot. <laughs> this must be Grimbot's little brother, Drumbot. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and, uh, Hello? Oh, are you? You must be Swamp Villagers. I have never seen a Swamp Villager in person and they're amazing. I want... Oh, that scared me. <laughs> um, you guys are incredible and I'm gonna steal you and bring you back to my village at some point and you're gonna love it. Anyway, um, here's a book. Let's read it. Diamonds. Do you want them? I do, but I think I read that backwards. Well, we sell diamond blocks. That's right. You can buy diamonds from us. And the price? The price is supporting Mumbo for mayor of the shopping district. Wait, wait, why am I here to help that? 
you need to buy as many of the diamond blocks from the drumbot shop as possible. Oh, to stop them advertising. But what are they advertising? Mumbo for Mayor t-shirt. Oh, I actually want one of those in real life. Wait, so we get the diamond block and then I take that away. So that's like one less thing for them to advertise. <gasps> I see, I see, I see. And what is it? Oh, it's the mustache. And then what is this over here? Play the mumbo for mayor AD. This is great. Jelly, thank you for the instructions. This is amazing. Where'd your friend go? So following the jelly instructions, let's grab ourselves a mumbo for mayor t-shirt. We will grab a mustache and we're making bank now. And the ad, and this is incredible. Seven diamond blocks. We can invest this into our campaign. But then on the other hand, I, I think I actually have to wear a shirt and a mustache. Oh, this is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> this kind of hurts our campaign a little bit wearing the uh, mumbo shirt and now the mumbo mustache, but it does give us seven diamond blocks, which is kind of amazing. This is also a very, very itchy mustache. Whew. So I am going to send B-Debs another message to see where he's at and if he can meet up with me and give me a bit of an update on what's going on and what the deal is with Jelly. But first, by the looks of things, we need to sort out Grumbot. Um, I mean, so, wait, so, so Grumbot is a bit broken. Green's tried to fix it, which is definitely, that's not good. Now he's stuck. Please assist. He's been hacked. <laughs> And Green made it worse. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, no, I should... I, that sounds definitely like something that I should probably try and go and sort out. Oh my goodness, what has happened? Look at this! So he's got, he's got a pink bobble. He's got a love heart in his face. I mean, he does look quite adorable. But I can't help but feel like this has to be something to do with the Get Gorgeous campaign. That... Oh, see, it's kind of bad, but I kind of think it's quite cool. Right, let's try and work out what's happened here. So, need to prime old Grumbot, we need to bootload the brain, we need to flood the mayoral reservoirs, chuck in this, and boom. I mean, so he is calculating something, that sounds good. Okay, he's angry. He is dispensing answers to things, though, but it, they're just, it's just get green. <laughs> he's, he's just said get green? What? So I guess if I work backwards here, there's get gorgeous. That's, that's probably what he was originally saying. And then I imagine green has tried to fix him and now he just says get green. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I don't know if he's broken. Unless he's telling me to get green? Maybe he's commanding that I get Grian. I'm here on my own. I normally I have Grian with me when I communicate with him. All right, let me ask another question. And it needs to be a question where the answer can't possibly be get Grian, which is actually quite difficult. After much thought, I think I've come up with something. What color is the ocean? I mean, if he answers get Grian to this, then we know there's definitely 100% a problem. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, well, he's got an answer for us. He's angry again. And yet, it is get green. He's definitely stuck. So after a little bit of fixing, he should now be ready to answer some more Meryl questions. I mean, I guess we should probably run a test quickly. Thankfully, I actually have created a system that allows us to test Grumbot. So if I place this command in, do the old thingamajig. We should now get a pre-programmed response, okay? And that will prove to us that he's out of his boot loop. And... Okay, well, he's not angry anymore, so that's good. And... I feel happiness. I mean, that's not the response that I was ex... It's not the response... I... <laughs> it's, not the... it's not the response I was expecting. But it's better than him being stuck in a loop. I mean, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It means it's gone against the command a little bit, but I'm sure it's fine. We need to meet up with B-Dubs today, finally. I've got a message from him. We're gonna meet up in a little while and talk about whatever's going on here with Jelly and of course, the future of our campaign. And um, 
Kind of forgot I'm still wearing this. It's a great big beautiful day here in Hermitcraft and I want to check the polls here and see if we are... I was gonna say leading, but no. We originally were tied with stress, now we're getting crushed by her and false. <laughs> How's Mumbo doing over here? Okay, Mumbo's... we're a little ahead of him, thankfully, and... Oh, rip doc. While we're in the shopping district, and before we meet up with B-dubs, I want to buy some things for the campaign. Now that we got 63 diamonds from, of course, putting on this shirt and the mustache. <laughs> so yeah, let's reinvest into ourselves the campaign, and maybe we'll buy something fun for B-dubs. You know, he's put in a lot of effort since uh, I've been gone, so we'll do something nice for him. So yeah, let's take a look at this Emporium and see what it's got. First thing has got to be more maps. So let's buy all this out. And I think it is four diamonds a stack. And we're going to need some item frames to go along with that. Two diamonds per stack. For all of B-Dub's efforts here, let's buy him a box of golden carrots. So with the investment that we just made at the barge for our maps and item frames, I have gone and spammed three more stacks of signs throughout the shopping district here. And there's a couple notable ones that I quite enjoy. The Cyclops now has a Scar for Mayor Eye, Scar Concrete Company, the Totem of Scar, Llama Ear Scar, and False Eye Scar. <laughs> and finally, Music Box Scar and Record Scar. I like placing them in little spots like that, but also spanned them on all of the mushrooms like down below and things along those lines. So let's go put the excess back up in the campaign headquarters. There we go. So we will meet up with B-dubs in a little while. Hey, big fella down there. Long time no see. Big fella? Yeah, big fella. Oh, that, it, that warms me. That makes me so happy. I oh. Knew, I knew that would. <laughs> hey, hold on. You got the, uh, you you want the, the hat and the shirt too? Why do you have it on too? <laughs> well, because I d Jelly was uh was leaving the book. Did you you saw the book? I thought you wrote the book. No, you wrote the book. No, I didn't. You, you, you thought left I the wrote book, it? You left the book for me. No, I did not. No, seriously. I thought you were I thought you were communicating to me through that. No, I was in bed you, asleep. It, you were in bed asleep. Oh. Okay, so for no reason, we're both sitting here wearing mumbo stuff. <laughs> this is slightly... Wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wh huh. why does huh. your mustache look so much more normal than mine? <laughs> <laughs> Yours is more like nose hairs that have grown <laughs> out of control. It's gone out of my nose. Oh, Ow! sorry. Remember the mouse? It's broken. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to remember again. Oh, my goodness. Well, oh. okay, I, I get on, right? I see the jelly. Mm -hmm. The jelly yeah. tells me to put on all this and get diamonds, and I put those diamonds in here. Well, I spent most of yeah. them. I bought these maps okay. and things. Oh, smart. You didn't do the jelly thing for realsies? No, I didn't. No, that I did not do. No, but we're rich though now. I so do like that. Smart. Maybe we should just keep listening to her. Yes. I mean, I thought, I mean, you love jelly. You love jelly. And for you, I love jelly. So I just thought I'll just obey that. You know what? That's the best way of dealing with the cat is you just obey. It's, it's just the way yeah. like they say, stand on the bed. You stand on the bed. Get off the you bed. Get off the, the bed. bed. Yeah, yeah. Walk the plank. Do what they you say. walk the plank. Yep. Don't. It's just don't. Oh, oh, please. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, that was scary. We need you. We need you to be mayor of this town. Hey, how's that map coming along, by the way? It's good. I'm working on it. Still. Oh, fantastic. Just in time for the election. So, you know, question to you yes has the other candidates proposed anything that they're gonna do because we want to do roads and trees and plants and beautiful things and more cats but all the yeah. other people like what are they doing what are they doing i have you no know, idea that's a great point all they're doing is they're saying i want this i want to be mayor i want to be they aren't saying i will do for you how okay, long do we have good. to wear the mustache for i think we can take it off now Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like in my nose and it's there. That mine's gone now. How? How? <laughs> Magic. What the magic. heck? How I did you do that? <laughs> I shaved it. <laughs> like, what do you got? Some kind it's of magic gone. laser razor? Yeah. And you know what? As a matter of fact, 
I can take this off too. Whoa! Yeah. You're the you wizard of the server. Yes, I am. So what we need to do is we need to make something to make a stand, a statement, to let people know mm -hmm. that we have plans and this is what we're going to do if you vote for us. A showstopper, they say. <gasps> make a showstopper. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that idea. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out. Okay, perfect. I'm ready. Mr. B-Dubs? Yeah. Feast your eyes on Mount Scar. Oh. <laughs> Mount Scar. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Dude. Dude. Right next to the town hall. Well, that's so when people are voting, they see the wondrous things that could be bestowed upon their lives. If they vote for me. If they vote for you. Dude, this is it. Imagine. Is there a, even a block of mycelium present? No, no. And when you get that no. map made, oh my gosh. Like, we're going to plant it on all these street poles so people know that we were the <clears throat> ones who destroyed mm -hmm. the mycelium menace. Y right. I was wondering if the, if it's over and you and maybe you win, I wonder if maybe we, I won't even have to make the map. <laughs> oh, no, no. we got to convince people they made the right decision so they re-elect us. So, oh, okay. They got to remember so we, why we were here, how we fixed their lives, because when something's a benefit to someone, they instantly mm -hmm. forget it. They forget, oh, this is just my new normal. So we got to remind them. Mm -hmm. Constantly in their face. Okay, I see. Well, take a quick moment to look and and uh, talk to me and talk to the audience about that mountain that... No! Please! You, you, you're disrespecting the sunset. You took all... You took... All of my rockets. <laughs> I took all your rockets. There was yeah. a time where I died. Nope. This is please. You're disrespecting you the must. sunset over Mount Scar. It's it's glorious. Look at it. This is bad. This is going to be bad. It's okay, a, okay, okay, okay. We better sleep ah, now. I yeah, love we, the sunset. It's we better beautiful. sleep. Can yeah. I please? Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Don't play. I'll go. Um. No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not treacherous. I'm voting for Mumbo. Oh no, you're gonna get me. You're gonna be. You're gonna be me. No. Yes. <laughs> Got him. Don't mess with me. Ah. <sighs> hey, dude, we're we're like Christmas. Look. We are. We're like Christmas beds. Ha. <laughs> ah, we're kind of delirious. We're kind of tired. This was a lot of work. Yeah, it was a lot of work. But look at the road designs over here. Look at this. Yes. So the people can see. Oh. This would actually be fantastic for the shopping district. Yeah, and it gives I people think... choice or the illusion that they're going to have a choice. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, what do you like best? And eh, we'll do whatever we want. <laughs> but they're very beautiful, and I'm very, very, very excited to see some of this stuff appear in the shopping district. It's going to be a pain, mm. but we can do it together, right? Oh, and, yeah. and by the way, the I mean, big guy is up here too. Big guy, yeah, yeah. I think we need to hire somebody, uh, a trimmer, a hedge trimmer or something, maybe. Oh, like a like a landscaper. Oh, even better. That's a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> idea. Yes. <laughs> you are going to be such a great man. You know, I've done some of the stupidest stuff while you've been gone, trying to get this whole thing figured out and get, you know, I mean, did, did, have you seen where, where we're at in the polls right now? I spent a lot of diamonds... Okay making these popsicles oh and, uh, i have one of these i took one of these they're delicious i think it was what diamonds well invested the diamonds that i got from wearing this ridiculous getup, um mm -hmm. you know went into the maps around here went into some of the materials yes. for that and yes. i bought you a present oh you did there's nothing in it it's empty there you are oh is it another chest of gunpowder oh <gasps> carrots Woo! there oh. you go Everybody needs wow. food. Everyone eats. You did this for me? Yeah, it was a thank you for keeping the uh, everything running. Oh, wow. I tried my heart out. I, I did try my heart out. But boy, we got rich off this thing, didn't we? Oh, I but know. We kinda, well, we kind of lost. We spent a lot of money on resources for the thing. But, but uh, you know, if we can implore these taxes or, you know, maybe we'll get rich. Or, well, you, you will get rich. I'm sorry, I keep including myself. You will are, get are, rich. Are, are, are we going to be corrupt before we even become mayor? Do we want to figure out why Jelly was giving us instructions or just... Uh, I would really like to know why she was giving us instructions. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I thought it was you. I don't know. So I guess that'll have to no. be a mystery for another time. <gasps> Impulse. He saw it. 
And he's he's enthralled, I'm sure. Oh, he loves it. Look at him. He's like, oh my God, it is just beautiful. Well, vote day, vote day is like tomorrow. We'll, we'll have to put some leaflets in people's bases and they'll know to oh. come over and take a peek before they vote oh, that is. Okay, am I gonna make the leaflets? Yeah, can you work on that? And then the then get get that map built soon too. We're gonna need that. So Okay. I'm gonna leave uh, you with your carrots and okay. other things. And I'm gonna go back and figure out what deal is with jelly. Goodbye. Look at Mount Scar Jelly and B Dubs looking super fancy. Now there are a couple small little details that I'd still like to add to the mountain to make it pop just a little bit more. We need some custom trees and I was hoping to fit a waterfall around here maybe, so we'll see how that goes. But we also need to encourage the other hermits to come over here. So maybe we could even build like a small little temporary pathway that comes in and around here. So, you know, the hermits know where to go to see the benefits of voting for Scar. So let me see if we can put that together. And there's Mount Scar in all of its glory with its custom trees, plants, and the pathway that leads from the polling station to the Mountain of Benefits. That's right, the Mountain of Benefits. See why you should vote for Scar here. Pathways, trees, cats, no more mycelium. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> So yeah, I think this area is looking pretty good. I love the bamboo because the bamboo acts as a bit of a highlight, right? When you look at this area, you can think of it almost as a photograph. When you photograph things, you want to make sure you get the whole tonal range, right? You want to get the shadows, the midtones, the highlights. And this area kind of missed the highlights, and that's what we got with the bamboo. So I'm very pleased with that. And as I said, we built out the little road here now connecting the polling stations over there to here. And to top that off, my friends, it is election day that is right the election has started the barriers have come down and it's time to vote and i'm very excited about this um is there is there some paper ah, here we are grab some paper we'll close the door behind us for the privacy and then anvil beautiful and we are going to vote i don't know i, I feel weird voting for myself <laughs> But I guess we got to do it. We got to do it for B-dubs, right? <laughs> he put so much work into this. We don't want to let him down. So there we go. We have now voted and hopefully the other hermits, when they come over here, they will follow this pathway and see the signs. Mount Scar this way. And what is this one over here? See why you should vote for Scar for mayor. And of course, finally, at the last sign here, it says voting for Scar will bring trees, roads, cats, and a beautiful land and no mycelium. So yeah, this area came out really, really fun. Anyway, obviously the build is coming together pretty nicely. Everything is going well. I'm going to continue that in a little bit, but the nether update is not the only exciting thing that has happened today. Today marks the end of the mayoral race. We have put in a lot of work. Okay, the mumbo for mayor campaign has been sort of successful. I mean, I'm currently last and Grumbot has provided absolutely nothing, nothing of any worth, but today is the day. Okay, today is the day where we cast our votes. So obviously it's incredibly important that I guess we do something. I mean, I suppose we have to do something. It's the last day. This is the last ditch effort. So we should probably meet up with Grian and head over to Grumbot. And yes, that was very embarrassing. I can't take off at the minute because my base is flooded. I can't zoom in on you anymore. Grim. I know, you seem so far away. Yeah, These end pods I... are actually way further away than I ever thought they were. I know, there's there's actually a way. If you go to options, put your FOV 30, it's like poor man zoom in. <laughs> it's still not quite as good. <laughs> well, should we just record this whole segment just fully zoomed in the whole time? Oh no, it's too difficult. It it's does, too difficult. It does it's make me difficult. feel a bit ill. <laughs> <laughs> Grumbot has been hacked. He's been taken over. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, he looks he does look adorable. Like it it does It is cute. It, it is very him. cute, but I do think we need to take him back to his former glory and Yeah. I mean, I've tried my best to unhack him, and I, I you know, I've done the internals and things like that, mm -hmm. and things seem better. I but tried to fix him too. I just got him stuck on get green. Yeah, uh, no, he, I, I did he, see. He that. was stuck on get gorgeous. He was yes. stuck on get gorgeous. So I got some progress, but don't let me ever touch this sort of thing ever again. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. So I managed to fix the get green problem. Um, I yeah, it's fixed. Okay, no, you don't sound too confident. Yeah, yeah it's. it's uh, it's fixed. Okay, well, I got loads of these, uh, I got loads of the banners back, so we should put him back to his, his former glory. One return to former glory later. There we go. Looking all handsome again. He is looking back, a lot better. Back to his usual self. 
now we have to ask him like last minute. Yeah, but this is like pull, pull something out the forgotten bag. to revise for your test, like yeah. doing your homework it, that morning. It, yeah, right. This is uh, eating breakfast and doing my homework. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. big time. What do I ask him? Um, it, it is vote day. That seems important to tell him. I wonder if he, yeah, yeah he might just not know. <laughs> he I mean, have... he, he's been kind of out of commission for a few days. He's probably doing a hard reboot. Yeah, true. Uh, um, I'm just going to put help in capital letters after that. Okay. Because he, he knows what's fit? up. That actually yep. fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, right. okay. Let's, let's go. Beep, 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 boop. Come on, Grumbot, you better pull something out of the bag here because we're like... In fact, following your instructions has made our... <laughs> yeah, we've work. not done well, we've not done well. Okay, this is... That's... Ooh. Oh, that doesn't look good. No, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's really oh, what's happened? Oh, no. oh, what's happened? Wait, there's... <laughs> Oh my! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh what gosh! Lobo! Oh gosh! Lobo! Hey. What is love? Does anything really matter? What is anger? Am I loved or used? <laughs> He's having an existential crisis. What if it was all a dream? Do I have control? Am I good? What if oh. our world is not ours? Oh, if I make Mumbo Mare, am I Mare? Oh, there's smoke coming out the top of his head, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's officially melted. Oh, we've melted him. Why he's must melted. my life make me ache? Jeez, he's oh my. he's gone dark. Oh, he's been sending a lot of he's been sending a lot of the same message. They're, they're still coming out too fast, but is he? Oh my goodness! Oh, he's he's just been saying goodbye, dads. <laughs> goodbye, dads. Oh god! Oh dear! This is I, not this is not I a think... good situation. I mean, I've got I've got almost two stacks of goodbye, dads on me. I've got one and a half stacks of goodbye. I think. I think we killed him. Uh, yeah, Grandpa's gone. gone. I mean, he's asking, what are all these feelings? I, these... I, I feel like I need to... What is anger? Why is my head hurting? <laughs> oh, bless him. Are my thoughts just a tool? <laughs> I am Grumbot, yet I am Dad's. I know this so much, yet awful. so little. Are my creators happy for me? Are there yes, others are, like Grumbot. me? What is love? Does anything really matter? Oh, no. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> he's, he's had a full breakdown and it's... <laughs> I feel so bad for birthing him. No, well, what do we do no. now? I mean, it's the last day, dude. Yeah, I mean, we got to go and vote, really, haven't we? Yeah, probably do need to do that. Yeah, should we head over to the shopping dish? I don't think Grumbots. Yeah, I, I mean, I, don't think he's okay. I think it would be it would actually be rude to ask him something else. In, <laughs> <isn't that laughs> state? I mean, really, <laughs> to keep prodding him for questions, he's clearly not not really open to questions right now. <laughs> so when you say you fixed him, I mean, I fixed you... him maybe a little bit too well. Oh, what's yeah? That's Hello, what, that's what You've I was just this? about to say. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a just... giant scar head. I'm gonna have to do a poor man's zoom. There we yeah, go. I was about oh. to say. I also I went to zoom in and then couldn't. Uh, that's a jelly and a scar in a mountain. There. This looks. This looks very cool. I mean, this has definitely improved the area next to next to the the, 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 yeah. the town what hall. What does it say? Voting for scar will bring trees, reeds. But he's he spelt reed reeds wrong, so we know <laughs> scar wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> scar will bring trees, reeds, cats, and beautiful land. Oh, well, he's oh, wait, promising a oh, lot no, more than me. Not, and he's, he's got, got road designs. Oh, he's, got, he's got a plan. Oh, man, he's got... Mumbo, he's got the one thing Grumbot didn't give us. A plan. Yeah, no, we had no <laughs> idea what I was going to do if I actually became mayor. And, um... And I road option one. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I kind of like road option two. I mean, even Ooh. road option three is yeah, pretty right nice up. as well. Any of any of these would beat what we've currently got going on in the shopping district, to be honest. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh. yeah. I mean, this, doesn't make, this doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> so and he's and he's running for mayor, yeah, and he's he's accepting yeah. votes, and it's it's voting day, and he's got yeah. this built. Okay, okay, and he's got All options, right. and people can see what. Okay, um. <laughs> <laughs> well, did it do, do what? Is it too late for us to to to? What I mean, what would it, I? It's, is it, today. It's, too, it's today. It's too late, isn't it? It's too it's late too for late. me to do something like that, isn't it? Let the voting commence. I've got my paper. Right. I mean, <laughs> wait. Am I voting? For, so I've gone to the wrong booth. Okay, so I'm currently voting for dog catcher. So I guess I guess we have to vote for Joe Hills here. Let the real voting commence and. I mean, I mean, would it be wrong of me? Be honest, would, would it be wrong of me to not vote for my? I mean, 
Do I have a plan? Am I going to be honest with myself and say that I have a plan and would make a good mayor? Or would I be better off? Maybe by the sky? I mean, he's built that beautiful landscape there. If he converts the shopping district to look like that, that would be really cool. Like, it would be really cool if the shopping look district looked like that. It would look... It would look far cooler than anything that I could do. So, I mean, I guess I'll just vote for Scar. I can't believe I've just done that. But here's the thing, alright, you know, Grumbot kind of let us down a little bit. That's that's the first thing. Grumbot let us down, and... And I, I don't have a plan, and Scar has a good plan, and he seems great. And he seems like he's doing well, and... And everything, like... Oh, Green's right there. I wonder if he voted for me. I mean, we, he was wearing the t-shirt, and he seemed... He seemed pretty hyped up about the Mumbo for Mayor stuff, so... I mean, hopefully at least he voted for me, so I'll have at least... At least his vote. That would be nice. But for now, and, and it definitely pains me to say it... I'm Scar for Mayor. I'm 100% Scar for Mayor. I mean, look at this place! How could I can be with this? I, 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 I just, just... It's beautiful. I'm looking forward to the shopping district if Scar does become Mayor. You know, I thought I wanted to be mayor. Well, I didn't originally want to be mayor. I didn't even know what a mayor was. But then I was running for mayor out of nowhere. And then suddenly I thought I wanted to be mayor. But then when, when it came down to it, when the chips were on the table, I realised I don't want to be mayor. No, I d definitely don't want to be mayor. That's terrifying. Scar. But who knows? You know, maybe I, I still might win. Despite the fact that I haven't even voted for myself, which probably isn't a good vote of confidence. Uh, you never know. I still might be able to win this race. Which would... Definitely be interesting. I'll be honest, the thought of that absolutely terrifies me. It's time to head over to the shopping district because everyone is getting together for the reveal of who's going to become the mayor. I don't think our chances are super high, but uh, we're going to show up. We're going to put a good face on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's head over now. Welcome, everybody, to, I guess, the announcement. I think this is like the first time I've seen this many people on the Hermitcraft server in front of me. And I'm, I'm Pretty, I'm pretty pleased to see so many mustaches in the in the audience today. <laughs> that's uh, that bodes well. Right, we've actually got quite a lot of uh, votes to get through, so I reckon we should crack on. Uh, first of all, we're going to announce who the winner is for dog catcher on the Hermitcraft server. Who voted Wait. for Daffy Duck? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't win them all. Uh, there's another Joe. Um, okay. Joe Hills. Uh, Joe Hills. Joe Hills. Joe Hills. Joe Hills. Joe Hills and Joe. All right. Wow. That is Dude, that landslide space. victory, Joe. Good job, man. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Joe. Good job, Joe. Thank you, thank you, you all for catcher. trusting me to clear up this mess that I had nothing to do with. I will <laughs> endeavor to get these dogs safely at the dog sanctuary as soon as possible. Did I miss the Thanos um, cosplay contest earlier, or is it just? <laughs> hey, Scar, Scar, don't, that's not a good idea. Don't make fun of him, okay? Come on over here. All right, let's let's go. So, right, uh, ready next to your your polling candidate. The first vote is for stress. Oop. The next one is for false. Oh yeah. Good times with Scar. Yay! Ooh. Ooh. Another Ooh. another one for Scar. <clears throat> oh, another one. Yes. Another one for false. Uh huh. Another Beautiful. for stress. Another for scar. Yes. Scar. <laughs> Another yes. for scar. Ooh. That's oh, man. Three now. Stress. Ooh. Uh oh. Another for scar. I'm shaking. Oh. Yes. I'm nervous. Oh, man. Oh, Another, man, scar. Another for false. Uh huh. Another for stress. Oh. Another two for scar. Boom, oh, wow. Two. Two. Oh man! Oh. And another for stress, another for false, and then there's like four more scars. Oh! So. oh. Congratulations, Scar! Uh, what? You are the there we inaugural go. mayor of Hermitcraft. Congratulations, man! Wow! Wait, that was come out. He's like, I'm out of here. Peace out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna be a good mayor or not. I didn't know I'd actually <laughs> win. <laughs> what the heck? Congratulations, Scar! Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so glad to take that mustache off. Congratulations, Scar. I think it's time for you to to sit on the throne. Take <gasps> take up take up the diamond throne. It's yeah. all yours. 
Can I, can I just have one second probably. alone just to lick the diamonds? Just one second? Alright, everyone turn around. <laughs> look away. Everyone, everyone, everyone <laughs> turn around. Just for a second. Oh, they're all mine. Yeah, I changed my vote. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I got it outside yeah. of my system. Okay. I licked the diamonds. We're all good. You got it out of your system. That, that makes it sound so much worse than it actually is. The diamonds actually Take your look seat. wet now. Okay. Thank this you. This is where I sit. Okay. That's where you sit. That's my chief of staff. Doctor. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm the mayor. Now what? Speech. Speech. Um, hi. I'm the mayor. Um, I'm going to make the shopping district really great looking. Okay. I'm done with my speech. Thank you. I'm embarrassed. Everyone's staring at me. Aww. <laughs> I could get used to the feeling of diamonds on my rear end. Isn't that right, B-dubs? Yeah. You deserve it. You are so deserving of this. <laughs> are you on your chair? You are on your chair. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. I appreciate this chair. What a gift. What a fine gift. It's Mayor. not the only gift. I have gifts for you. Therefore, okay. doing all the work to get me elected, especially when I yeah. was gone. All right. Yeah. I got firework rockets because I used up your fireworks <gasps> in our last meeting. Oh, you you remember you kept them. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I felt bad when you left. And then you had to oh, swim back to your house and it was a whole thing. I swam all the way back. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is a fine gift. And wow. the best one. What's the best one? Full of diamonds, I'm sure. Oh, it actually is. Wait. Oh, let's split this. You no, and me. No, no, Come no, on. no. That's the campaign funds that we didn't need. And uh, the rest of it is all for you. Really? I mean, I, I have I have diamonds. Wow, you sure do, and you sure deserve them. <laughs> but you know, there, there you go. There, there's just a little appreciation. I'm sorry about taking your rockets. <laughs> oh, 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 Scar, I've never been this rich before. Oh. Never, never in Minecraft, never in all my years. I've been playing for ten years. It's the most diamonds I've ever had, ever. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Now, come this way, come this way. It's not the only thing okay. that I have for you. Around mm -hmm. every corner, Big I have an office for you. You do? Yeah, stand right Where? here. Where? Stand right okay. here. Okay. Okay. There's your office. Oh. Oh, it's dark. I hate this office. There's more <laughs> shelves, perfect. I guess. Look at I this. could study. You got music. Look at this. You get yeah. some tunes. You get some beats. <laughs> and you got your books right here. Look at it. Look at the books. I think that's... Oh, yes. This is actually going to be nice and cozy. A little, a little comfort spot. I feel spot. A, a cold coming on, though. <laughs> uh, I don't... I mean, it's quaint and it's nice. What's Maybe I here? don't need it. Oh, I could live under here. Sure, sure enough. Oh, this <laughs> wow, plenty of space under here. This is really nice, Scar. I like this spot. For realsies, this is great. we got to get you yeah. in the real office. This was a joke. This is just Harry Potter's closet. You always <sighs> got to have a Harry Potter closet. Am I right? Y yes, you pranked me again. Scar, I love how you prank me and make me feel scared all the time. You're a wonderful <laughs> mayor. <laughs> Thank you. I am a wonderful mayor. So yes. pick your office so that you can get your work done. This one overlooking the lake shore. I think Ooh. this is nice. I like this view. Uh, I, I would love this office if I could. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And then Joe's across okay. the hall doing his dog things. I, I don't yes. know what the dog things are, but he's he's got some busy work going on over there. I haven't seen many dogs. I feel like he's doing a pretty good job. Oh, you're right. I actually haven't seen the dogs. As mayor now, now that you're mayor, have yes. you kind of thought about, you know, what you'd like to do? That's a great question, Mr. B. Mr. B, I look out over the shopping district. I see chaos, yeah. turmoil, and we're here to fix this. We're here to fix this chaos. Yeah, hire, you could hire the boomers. We could blow the whole thing to King, Kingdom Come. Ooh, really? Yes. Hmm, that would be too bad. But I think some people might feel a little mad about that. Might Maybe me conflict of, of interest, thing. too. Yeah. yeah, That. okay, yeah, let's not do that then. I think what we need to do is we need to write up some plans, get some blueprints, get some designs worked out, and then mm -hmm. we meet back up again with ideas on how to solve the mycelium menace. We gotta destroy right. it. Right. How's that map coming along? Progress, right? Big progress. Big, 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 great progress? Yeah, big, great progress. I promise, uh, I promise you'll love it when oh. it's done. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. All right, so yep. I'm gonna go continue my licking of the diamonds and okay. uh, we'll meet back up in due time and we will uh we will tackle the mycelium menace wow today has been a busy day we built a absolutely gigantic drill we also completely changed up the coloring for the big dig and uh we also became the mayor of the hermitcraft shopping district which 
be honest with you, I'm a little bit nervous and quite a bit intimidated by the prospect of being the mayor. Hopefully we can live up to our campaign promises of terraforming this area, making it absolutely beautiful, adding pathways and things along those lines. What other was our campaign promises? Oh, cats, that's right. <laughs> We've got to make sure that we get a cat for every hermit. And in the comments, as I said before, definitely let me know what else we should do as mayor here. Maybe we change the currency. Maybe we charge more for plots to bring in more revenue to the coffers of the Hermitcraft uh, town hall. It's mayoral stuff. I still have my t-shirt on, despite the fact that I didn't necessarily vote for myself. I guess we're going to find out the results. We're going to see who won. And we're gonna go from there. So all of us hermits gathered up for a big group recording and during this group recording Kubo thought it was the perfect time after being quiet all day to charge around the house with his squeaky toy So I had to stay muted the entire time But we counted up all of the votes and I got zero. I got absolutely zero Nobody voted for me. Not even me. Not even green. Nobody and Scar got the most. So he is now the official mayor of Hermitcraft, which of course I'm very happy about because I personally actually voted for him. I mean, he's clearly the man for the job, but I guess now it's time to debrief a little bit with Grian. Uh, hello, not mayor. <laughs> yeah, hi, dude, how's it going? I see that we have returned to our end rods. This means that this is a serious meeting outside of this Grumbot. Is, yeah, this is a Grumbot meeting. Um, so, yeah. zero votes. Yeah, zero, zero votes. Votes. I mean, you know, as my campaign manager and all that. <laughs> you're, you're the candidate and all that. <laughs> you didn't vote for yourself. And <laughs> I mean, you, look, I, I kind of look. I, I had a moment in in the the booth. Okay, I things came back to me. Okay, I remembered as I was in the booth. Okay, I kind of had a little bit of a panic, and I realized, well, hold up, I didn't even want to be mayor in the first place. This was not actually my idea. All right, I saw that was video. A... I had the same. I had the same epiphany. Right. I had the same moment of like, you know what, Scar might actually be a good mayor, and yeah, I kind of ended it as a joke, and yeah, and then the joke you know, the kind of went thing, on. Yeah, and... the whole it went too far, and then all of a sudden I, was... I panicked. Yeah. And I think we made the right decision. Do you, do you, I mean, I I do too. I, I'm... I think... <laughs> I mean, all this effort, <laughs> we got zero, we didn't even vote for ourselves, it's funny, I mean, it's very funny. <laughs> What's not fair, though, is how we've left good old Grumbot. He, he, he did do us, he did do us wrong, well, he kind of did. Well, he did, but, like, no, he definitely, he, he definitely did do us wrong, he did, yeah, he did plenty uh, wrong. Yeah, he, he did his best. Yes, <laughs> he, tried, he tried extremely hard to his He's, demise, I, I he tried too he, hard. He's a, he's a product of 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 like our minds. So yes. if anything, we're to, we're to blame. But we can't we can't leave him like this. No, it's we quite gotta, sad and depressing. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta we gotta fix him up. But I don't think I can stomach telling him that you didn't become mayor, or in fact that his two favorite dads didn't vote for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, that could be a huge problem. I mean, what do we do? Do we just kind of create a I, I world? Fake it, dude. Yeah, we, yeah, I think we make it, dude. I think I think we 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 dress you up as mayor. We tell him you won, and we we box we box him in in his own little world, and and job done. He's and he's just happy. happy he's just oblivious, off. just oblivious to the outside world. He thinks it, <laughs> life is going on. Mumbo's mayor in. Everything's great. Exactly, and uh, I think because he's melted right now, we can get away with anything, and then we'll bring him back online once it's all set up. Now, because we wanted this build to be as nostalgic as possible, instead of using concrete, which we kind of have all of the resources ready for, we decided to go for wool, which meant I had to go to my mob farm, gather up a whole bunch of string, then craft it all up into wool, and then I had to dye all of it, which I'd forgotten, dye still has the old school crafting recipe, where it's one dye for every single block that you're actually getting out of it, as opposed to the new concrete and stained glass glass ones which is crazy you end up just using up all of your dye i have no more lapis i've used all of it to create the sky for grumbot but i would say that's a worthy cause and i have to say i think the end result looks really really cool behold grumbot's virtual reality it's i want to live here I'm. I might stay here as well for the rest of the Hermitcraft season. Just chill out in here. This is this is a good life for him. It's de certainly better than uh, what where he was on the on the platform. Of course, yeah, yeah, no, this is lovely. Uh, I, I'm sure he's going to be happy with this. I guess we should probably just get him online. I mean, he's now fixed up. So yeah, we fixed, we fixed him up. We fixed him, but we haven't got him online yet because obviously, 
you know, he, we wouldn't want him online while we were building his universe. That kind of doesn't make much sense. Yeah. Okay. So, so the, what we need to do is basically tell him that you've won. You've won. If you it, look at the art, there's like a fake uh, shopping district island. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a monument to, to your mustache. <laughs> Show that you like you have di- one a dictator, <laughs> <I'm thinking laughs> <like> a dictator. <laughs> just like all buildings must be mustaches. No, but that's perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm that's convincing. I'm convinced, so good. that's good. And then we just we just tell him that you won. But I think to to really sell it, you've got to you've got to put on like a mare mare skin. I can right. see a bit of a suit. There. Oh, hold on, you have to take off your armor there, bud. Right. Dude, oh, I look the le- business. <laughs> that is legit. I'm upset oh that I didn't vote for myself now. <laughs> you look you you look so qualified yeah why wasn't i what why didn't i put this on from the start you look so qualified now maybe it was this ridiculous outfit <laughs> you must have the high jeans the t-shirt Dude, the, i'd the vote hair. for you right now i'd vote for myself and that's saying something and I've got the back of my hair back. Yes. Do I still have to feed him diamonds? Yes. This. This is it. it, it look. Okay. If we ever build another Grombot, right? Yeah. It maybe it's, it's even... eating dirt. It's eating dirt yeah, next it's time. Dirt about dirt Mumbo powder. won the race. So I'm gonna put a smiley face. Oh, well, he's gonna love that. He's gonna really he's gonna, love yeah, that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna flip. Right. Let's go. Oh man, we're bringing him back. Flood the mayor of reservoirs. Yeah. Go, a Grombot. What do we think? Yay! Well, okay. Well, he didn't. Okay. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't melt like, down. And there's <laughs> one piece of paper, which is a that's a positive sign. <laughs> do you want to check it, or should I? All right. Grumbot's life has meaning. <gasps> Grumbot's oh. life has meaning. We did it. Okay. I think he's. I think he's happy. I think he's happy. But you he know, seems pleased. Yeah, we've uh, we've Truman showed him. We put him in the Matrix. We put him in virtual reality where you won the race. <laughs> well, we, no, no, we no, wait, don't stop, stop all that. It's fine. We, we can't breathe through the walls. We have to go out back. All right. <laughs> oh wait, I need my redstone box. <laughs> Let me just put this back into the ender chest real quick. You picked it up. Let's get going. Oh, goodness me. This is not the smooth operation I imagined in my head. We also forgot to install any form of window in the wall, so we had to quickly go and do that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You straight up did not no, land. No. Where did you... Where even are you, dude? All right. I'm here. <laughs> so we've got the cloud window, and he is... He's so happy. He's the happiest he's ever been. He is the happiest Grumbot. I mean, he's been nothing... The only emotions he's ever shown is just a deadpan face. Yeah. Angry or sad. Yeah, or sad. <laughs> this is the first time he's actually... This is what he was built for. He was built to make you mayor, and in his world, you are the mayor. You just have to turn up every now and again to just, you know, show face. I was going to say, is this... I mean, you know, it's a really, really happy ending. Like, he is... Yeah. He is happy. Are he's we good people? Him. I think so. I think um, so. Is this a good thing to do? Um, yeah. And on that note, let's get back to some nether action.